All right, hello and welcome, friends of the Kriegspiel. Um, welcome to a Sunday Kriegspiel stream at the International Kriegspiel Society. Um, I am running my the island of Jersey or Isle of Jersey or the invasion of Jersey, however you want to call it, scenario for a second time with a slightly modified um, scenario briefing. And as you can see on the map, the French have already given their orders to where they want to land. And I have rolled the dice on delays and whatnot, ships lost and all that stuff. So we are somewhat ready to go. We are still waiting for a few players, but that is very interesting to see. The, the French have opted to go in sort of after nightfall, some hours after nightfall at low tide, actually which is uh, fascinating. So they will have to cross the beaches in the darkness and then sort of try to find their way uh, up, the, up the slopes, up the cliffs of Jersey to get into positions, at least there where, where they are, cliffs. And we have some, some interesting delays. It will be fascinating to see how the players deal with those. But yeah, that is what we are going to do i guess i can delete the delayed marker what we will need is a fog marker and i will see if that is covering what we need so i would say it's uh, right now it should be 10 o'clock in the evening <clears throat> so there won't be any fog right now because we are in the summer but potentially in the morning there there will be fog i've got a, a, a good friend who lives in canberra he he loves going to cancon and he doesn't drive so when i go down i drive him to it and i can stay at his place and all the rest but just the stars never quite align with the rest of the world I think I have all of my militia players here, all of my loyal Jersey officers. Are all the French there? I guess one is still missing, but uh, he said he's coming in late, so that's no problem. All right, then uh, please split um, British into red one and the French into the blue channels. All right, Theo, are you here to to help umpire or what? Yeah, sure. 
Yeah, nice. Okay. So if you want to join the umpire table, it should be called. Let me see what it's actually called. Jersey Kriegsspiel Umpire. And the password is IKS or lowercase. And I guess I have to give you a roll. Sure. Yep. I'm already in. Perfect. Sure, please. Oh, crap. Yeah, there are some. Uh, <laughs> Notifications you need to get rid of. But it's all for the flavor. That's a polite history. It wants to open it. You're right. Yep. Yep. I think we had um we had one or two Age of Sail naval battles. But yeah. So there won't be any actual ship on ship combat here, I believe. But um there might be some fort on ship cannonades. Honestly, at this time, naval bombardment against fortified artillery positions was honestly pretty dumb. Mm, yeah, somewhat. So, the, on the shores, I could uh, use heated shot, uh, and that's God damn it, and that's going to set the ship on fire real quick. Yeah, you can just uh, left click, right click on these fatigue markers to increase, decrease the the red ones. Oh, okay. I'm just using them for delay purposes right now. <clears throat> Otherwise, we're just going to use the Otowski system. Uh, God damn it, I forgot it. Uh, these unit... Unit specific dice and yeah, we can go through them yeah, once uh, combat occurs. Yeah, I heard the, I did this thing once or twice, so I'm not totally out of it. All right, um, so I rolled for the delay, I rolled for the wind. So the French have interestingly decided to go in basically at low tide during the night <laughs> uh, and want to hit the best fortified section of the whole island, St. Helier Bay, which is covered by two fortifications, St. Auburn and uh, Elizabeth Castle. So. We see how that goes. Um, let's see, what do we need to do? We probably need to roll for detection. 
So this invasion is very unlikely to happen, so nobody assumes it coming. Um, and it is already dark. So let's say on a... On a 7-up, uh, this movement is detected, which actually is the case. Okay. Is this one over here also detected then? Nope. And over on that shore. Not. Okay. So the main body is actually detected. So they will come under artillery fire, but they are supposed to go in at 11.30. And those guys are supposed to go in at 10, which they mostly will do. Okay. So let's split up the, the players. Uh, so that we can get going. Let's see. I will take Justin and I guess I can also take who's Monsi, whoever Monsi is. And on the British side, I mean the British, they don't actually get something to do right now. So for the first few turns, I'm gonna take care of uh, Monsi and, or oh, sorry, who is that? Bonchance and Monsi. Yeah, uh, Theo, if you wanna take care of Pierre and that leaves then uh, Desert. So first thing we're going to do is this one over here. They are landing at 10. Is there a chance for them to run ashore? Very slightly. On a one, they will. Nope. Don't. Perfect. So that would be 10.50. Who else is going in at this time? Nobody. Okay. Quick report to the player. Just doing the initial one for Desert here as well, just so that everything gets going. And we get into sync eventually. Okay, so the next one would be this one over here, which is supposed to go in 40 minutes afterwards. So that means we have some options here. Let's resolve if they manage to overrun Mont Orgway. We give them the infantry dice. So they were not uh, detected. Um, I'll actually let them roll two dice then. And that would be a hit and hit only in bed. Yeah, I guess that I let that count. So these guys will surrender. Uh, where's the marker? There we go. Uh, and that was actually an, an ammo marker. Yep, they are attacked. I mean, they are overrun from from behind, so... The French just managed to climb the walls and, and get them. Okay, so that takes probably a while. Now we have, we had some northward winds, so these are probably coming in a little bit early. Let's say they get ashore, these guys get ashore at 11 and these guys get ashore at 10.15, the first ones that is. Which are these guys. 
And remember, it's dark. They don't know where to go. So they, and they are also, I mean, the the beach that's fine sand. So they are advancing very slowly. Then we reduce these guys by one. Just by one. So, all right. Okay. And we chose it for another one. Now they arrive here, they get ashore. Those guys will slowly get in. On the next one, and... Thirty, ten, forty. Let's push these guys on the shore. They are starting to disembark here, and we got a roll for cannonade by the fort. And that is a hit. A hit. So let's say they come in uh, disrupted at least. Okay. That is that. That is that. Because we can remove all the lines, or can't we? So they are very much delayed, they are not coming in. These guys are starting to get on the beaches. What else do we have? This one will get in eventually. All right, considering all the delays and whatnot during the night, I think we can give out the first round of reports to the players. Um, the Pierre player is still on the ships. He has not arrived yet. Then we start breaking them up first. We will start breaking them up first, yes, please. I'll go down and tell them to go into their own channels. Thank you very much. Came too late, but I still could. I would have time. Okay, so that means we are four in total. Okay, so then I will take care of Bon Chance and and Sir George. And I can take Pierre. You take Pierre, yes. And then also take uh, Le Sueur, maybe. He's uh, currently here asleep or making ready to get asleep or whatever. Okay, then uh, Cookie Hunter, you're going to take care of Monsi and Carteret. Uh, Monsi is French and Lord Carteret is over here, the bailey of the island in the southeast. Sorry, can you ping again? I... Southeast. Ah, okay. Yeah, let's see. That leaves Desert and uh, Colonel, or Colonel rather, Dumaresk. So Dumaresk is up here.
As you said, you are not. Uh, we, ranges two grids or more? Uh, we gotta get Frank on the table. Yeah. Oh god. Um, you range is two grids or? Uh, it's at night, so I'd say if you are on the island, it's just one square currently. Just landed. Did a British get notice notified about the French presence on his uh, inland? I don't think so yet. Uh, so they can certainly hear the cannonade from Elizabeth's castle. And that should be. Yeah, everybody on the island can hear that. What is going on, however, they don't know. And what is important for the British is uh, all the militia forces need time to assemble because they are at home doing their stuff, right? They need to get their weapons and uniforms and then get to their assembly points. So there will be delays. They cannot immediately order them around. They need to give out the order to mobilize them if they want to, but that will take some time. Um just to get dressed up so they can march. Yeah, yeah. And you also need to get word out to them and all that stuff, so depending on how far they are away from the commander it takes some some time. Wait, uh which channels are we actually posting it in? Um we're gonna use the in the channels in the jersey category. Okay. Below the, the voice channels. Time is it? Uh, I would say it is now eleven thirty. So twenty three thirty. Yes. Then I'll start posting the first report then. Very well. And tell the French that the wind did change and if the ships of them are delayed, they got lost in the night and all that stuff. A little bit of flavor. Yeah, very got, was fired on by the port, so mm -hmm. and very small screenshots, just one square around yeah. them. Um, yes. What is there? Sorry. Well, I, as I opened the the game, they opened like twenty windows. Yeah, just just uh, click them away. Yeah, radius here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wait, it's all four zero zero. Twenty three zero. Uh, Twenty three thirty. Yeah, we well, let me put that down. It's actually not even on the thingy right, there. I'll go down and give them the report then. Perfect. Yes. They really just crash. General Bonchance. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour. Or bonsoir, rather. I took the liberty of setting up the various channels in the game. Uh, we're just going to use the the jersey channels. Oh, okay. What number? Um So your your little naval convoy headed out of Saint Malo at night and is closing in on on uh, Jersey Island. Um, due to change of wind, you arrive a little bit early as the wind has uh, shifted to the north and then northwest. 
which makes it a little hard for your little section of the convoy to get into the Havre de Pas, uh, which um, as you sail by, you can see that the L'Imperial run aground. Uh, they are to your to your west, southwest. Okay, so on that flank where the rocks going into. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So they they are trying to get out the grenadiers yet uh, now and get them on the beach. This boat's low tide, so they should be a bit closer by the back then. So why are we coming in now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the twenty fourth is already on the beach with you if you wanna advance with them the fourth are disembarking right now and you can hear to the to the west you can hear artillery fire not that far away that is interesting okay so we will launch the advance quietly to the, the so the fourth are ashore and the 24th coming ashore or the other way around 24th are ashore the fourth are coming ashore right now okay we will launch the advance quietly perfect Uh, currently, there is no fog, only darkness. Okay. So, all right. We're definitely not lighting any, lighting anything. I can see that ridge above me there. I know where I need to be. Um, actually, I'll, I'll get a couple of the quiet men on the 24th to go find our flight path to get up there. Okay. Just a couple of them. So they're, they're, we're not waiting for any battle until they're still on the 24th on the shore. Perfect. Thank you very much. Lieutenant General George Don, are you here? I am here, sir. Very good, very good. So, um, you are in St. Helia Town in your little residence, um, getting ready for the night. And at around 23.30, you can hear cannonade, which you assume to come from Elizabeth's castle not far away. What do you think Can about that? Again, Elizabeth. Okay. What do you think about that? I'm concerned. <laughs> do you want to give out any orders? Certainly do. Uh, can we ring the ring the bells of the city? Yeah, sure. General alert, and I'll send couriers to all my militia commanders, ordering them to stand to. Have, has, has there been any intelligence or anything of French activity in the area? No, nothing. I'll write out some couriers, and would you always you prefer to do it this way? Um, how do you want to do that? Uh, you can just... Couriers written, or do you want me just to do it verbally? Uh, written would be good, yeah. I'm not using the bot, so just uh, put them in the channel there. Great, okay. thank you. Uh, 2330, and I've heard cannon fire from... My Elizabeth Fortress in the Bay. Exactly. Yeah, thank you. And I'll call all my local um, regiments in the, in the city to stand to. Okay. Very well. Prepare, prepare for action. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You want to talk to talk to me? Hello. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, how sh in which form should I make orders? Because I didn't find it in manuals and stuff. I written in my channel what I want from my troops, stuff like that. Uh, can I speak with you by sending you these pictures in my channel? Uh, yeah, you can. That's all right. Uh, also, the question is, um, maybe it's my mistake, but I have like two ships and mounted three battalions on it, but in my point of view, I see only one battalion and one ship. 
That is true. Uh, because of change of wind and uh, fleet sailing out uh, at darkness, the, the other ship is delayed, you assume. for troops is they be actual like how many turns it will take like landing uh, forming up on the road moving towards the battery uh, so landing should be for uh, your size of unit should take about 15 minutes each and then yeah well it's it's dark and it's it's the beach and so on so probably 15 to 30 minutes to to get up now I'm in my point of view. I'm seeing that I'm having one battalion. Can I knew the name of it because? Yeah, that would be the fourth of the fourth year's regiment. Fourth battalion of fourth year's regiment. Okay. Uh, Did you get the report yeah. that your men overran the Mount Ogway castle? No, I did not see any of information about them. Okay. Uh, they did. <laughs> so, uh, again, um, I need to open the map to get more clear. Are they run ashore? <laughs> yeah, so the 4th year's regiment, that battalion is on the shore and they actually already managed to overrun Mount Orgway Castle mm -hmm. and captured forces of the South Hampshire regiment there. So those surrendered without fight, being surprised by your men attacking them from from uh, landwards. Those battalion? Uh, I'm sorry. Oh. The battalion of the 40th regiment is that, which yeah. that was the first one, which got ashore. Uh, I just give them order. They, um, I don't know. They they just run over the castle, take the castle, capture enemy forces. Yes. I don't I don't know what happened with the other two battalions. The other two are still on the ships and you assume they hopefully come in very soon. They got delayed. Ah, they just got delayed. So they're still on the ships. Yes. Ah, uh, that's good. That's very good. Um my orders Can I change my orders because Sure. Since I since I captured the castle. Sure. My, my troops, my for, um, first question is, where is my battalion? <laughs> He's still in the castle? Or I don't know about it. Uh, you are now in the castle, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, how much time I have to... Let me my... give you a screenshot, actually, of the situation. Can I do something to the prisoners? Like yeah, what do you want to do with them? Land them, uh, board them on the ships, if I have a place for on ships to do like this. Yeah, yeah, that should be possible. Yep. So, since... Um, can I give orders right here in voice? Yeah, sure. Uh, for the prisoners... Load them on a super Mont Blanc. Uh, for the also should be should I detach some forces from a fourth battalion of fourteen regiment to guard them, or they will move, or it will be not. Um, yeah, I mean some some of your men need to take care of them. Yes, but uh, that's nothing we're gonna track. And orders load them on Mont Blanc for the prisoners for the uh, battalion, uh, replenish their munition in the castle and set a um, prepare a powder store in the castle to be blown up. Mm -hmm. Destruction. All right. So, uh, yeah, that's it, I guess. Perfect. Turn for this turn. Then the next turn will. 
uh, should be very soon. I guess we have all the orders from everybody else, so should go quickly. I, I, I don't have an info, like, you will let me run. Yeah, you, you will get a report, yes. Okay, so. Um, Short question, yeah. Who was Frank supposed to do? Because I don't think he did anyone yet. Yeah, um, I took care of Desert for this turn. So that would be one, and who else was left for the British? Dumaresque, I believe. Up here. Dumaresque is up there. Isn't Duma uh, one of the British an NPC? Because. Uh, three British. Yeah, he should arrive soon, hopefully. At least he said he would be 30 minutes late. Uh, okay, that answers one question. Uh, Alright. Um, well. Another question? Yeah, the other question. Basically. British Carteret wanted to alert all his infantry and have the Dragoons in the North report back to him if anything happened. I'm not sure when he will find out that uh, Mu or will be a castle was taken. Uh, probably as soon as it gets blown, but that takes another 30 minutes. Okay, so he wanna he wants to alert his men. Yeah, then we will put, I guess, one round of delay on these guys. Um, put two on these. Put three on these. Which British was a? Dimarescu is up in the north. So okay. is the French. Question. Is there going to be more reinforcements for the French army? Uh, nope. Or That's all. Uh, do the ships go away or should they just stay there? The ships have orders to support. Uh, let me double check. I think once the landing is done, yeah. the ships in the bay are to give um, bombardment support. Yeah, the problem is though currently is is basically so they run aground. Basically, they they are sitting there now. Sitting ducks. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Dimarest is currently not player, right? Uh, he hasn't arrived yet. Question: uh, What's the range we're using one square for? Is it too far? Yeah. Yeah. And what's the movement? Uh, also only one square for now. Um, on the beach, and I mean, if you get into the hetero thingies, also I would say I mean it's it's at night. Nobody knows the island. Okay, so the, you see these guys started to move. I will deny that and give them a three turn delay. Uh, but another question: What's the speed of the ships? Because he was like here, I wanted to land here. So will he be able? Yeah, that that's all right. That's all right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he wanted to land his um, artillery and start bombarding the castle, I believe. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, he can he can get them ashore this turn, but not fire this turn. Okay. Yeah, that's what I saw. Considering those white way half one and a half tons. Yeah. 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 Okay, then we are ready. We gotta. I mean, I believe Saint Auburn seeing the artillery fire coming from Elizabeth Castle is also opening up. Or we can. Shall we? Let's let's roll a die if they need one turn to get out of their beds or not. On uh, evens, they fire immediately. So they do. And they actually do, let's say they smash the Lyonnais, which goes down. Uh, is the effect not working? Should be burning. Anyways. <laughs> 
And then Elizabeth Castle is also shooting. Also a fire at over 15 minutes. Okay, so these guys are taking another hit. We will just reduce them immediately by one. Okay, that is done. These guys are getting ashore. These guys have another delay over here. These guys start arriving. Interesting. This commander wants to send the prisoners away onto the ships. Do we have anything else? I don't think so. Okay, so there's one thing concerning the British. Um, the governor decided to ring the the church bells, which should probably, given the wind direction, be heard all across the island. Saint Helia, yes. Keep sending reports. I take care of this. Okay, then um, let's. Take screenshots, give another round of reports. So twenty three forty five. All right, let's see. Next report then. Uh, sorry, that was this one. Uh, did you already do the bombardment of the ports again? Or? Yes, they fired already. What did this one fire on? Uh, which one? St. Alban? St. Alban shot, uh, sank this, this schooner. Oh, oh, it sank. Yeah, it's basically blown up. For whatever reason, the effect doesn't trigger. They they have uh, fire effects normally, but All right. Let's go. Hey, what time is it? Twenty-three forty-five. Let's see. All right. So the church bells are ringing, and the regulars in Fort Regent which really, I don't know if you want to call it a fort already, but it's still under construction. They are making ready. And you can hear even more artillery fire from the west. And some exploding sounds. So probably the artillery did hit something there. Okay. Um, other than can that... Can I to Fort Regent? I'm, I'm sorry, I, yeah, I should have said that before. Regent. Yeah, you can absolutely do that, sure. Tagged you, but I don't know which tag to use for you. Am I using the let like the let yeah, yeah, or the at Jan? Uh, you can should I tag you? Both work perfectly fine. Okay. Um and is it high tide or low tide? Uh currently it is low tide. So high tide will be at oh five hundred. Right, so we've got lots of sand. Yep. So I sent a courier. I hope well. I sent a courier in that from that previous time gap. Yes. Um, and I sent another one. At the two couriers there. So one just to my to the units I command, mm -hmm. telling them to stand to and get ready to march. Yeah. Um, are there any? Yeah. I'll send more couriers uh, once I know what's going on. Okay. Perfect. Uh, explosions in the bay. That's all that you're reporting. Okay. Yes. But yes, if I can move to the island, that'd be great. Thank you. Sure. Set. All right. Bonjour. Do you have a picture? You have a picture, yes. The fourth grenadiers have landed. Um, your men are scouting the beach. And you see, or you can make out into... Some of your men, you send some of your men up the beach to scout for yeah. paths. Oh, yes, I, I sent a couple there just for the book. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
and you can gazing to the southwest you think you can make out some rowing boats uh, coming up behind you and to the west you can hear now even more artillery fire and what sounds like an explosion sounds like it will go very very well <laughs> Okay. We're going to storm with what we're going to avoid the cliffs. We're going to go up the strand using whatever the scouts will be able to find on the way. Mm -hmm. Storm the port region between those two batteries. Mm -hmm. storm, storm the main body of it. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, having done that, we should then be able to use the shore gun in place of 96 or, or so many guns we think. The shore gun in place of that is pointing at the Royal, at the Royal Navy ships to force them to shoot them if they're moving and otherwise to intimidate them into stopping the combat. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna go storm that port together. Two regiment battalions of grenadiers and themselves. Um oh yeah I said that nine six is gonna follow us when we get there. Yes. Uh the Josephine is a sea Yes. Yep. Yep. So once the Josephine is um once the nine six are are ashore, the Josephine is Start providing, or is able to start providing main and fire support as needed in the area. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bon chance. Bon chance to you as well. I thought we were going to empires, not lobby. Uh, oh yeah, we can, we can of course do that. Let's do that. Right, he is getting a lot of news next turn. Um, and he wants to move south. Yes, he can barely. Barely, yeah. Well, and he probably disembarks the other unit of infantry, I assume. Yep. Now the problem the French ships have not is it only that they basically run ashore here. We also have northward winds, so they are not going to get out of the bay. Yeah, that's sort of a problem. Um, okay, you said one grid for the French infantry. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's basically it. And he's commencing bombardment of Elizabeth Castle. Not sure <laughs> we are simulating that, but probably. I don't think we even have to roll a die for that. I am grabbing this, so. <laughs> yep. Half sized one. 
Yeah, I think in one of the modules we had one, but... Should, uh, is uh, able to steal ammunition? Uh, yes. The fort should okay. provide ammunition, yeah. Um, next time, please give uh, much smaller screenshots to the players because it's night. Okay. Just uh, like one, one square we'll radius. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, no worries. We'll see who wanted to also blow up the fort uh, at the castle after he steals the ammunition. Uh, yeah, he can surely do that. Uh, it will take some preparation though. So let's say that takes um, two turns. Okay. Yep. Uh, can the infantry troops uh, uh, steer ships? Uh, no. I mean, yes, you can do. They are aground anyway, so. And I'm not sure the, the enemy crews are on the ships, actually. <laughs> but he can seize them, yes. Good. First combat. An attack on the fort, that's interesting. And do they actually want to engage with ranged combat against the fort? Uh, actually, he says full steel, so I guess he's in charge, but I don't think he's in charge of this piece. Is yeah, then let them prepare for another turn Even there. Was like right here. Yeah, 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 no. That will take another turn to get up there then. No, no, no. Also, I mean, they they would give the surprise away, right? So about the ships, so can the infantry steal the ships, ships and sail off? They can seize them, but they can't get out of port currently, anyways. Even if they could steer them. I mean, they are grounded at the moment. I think more or less. Yes, they are grounded. Uh, no water. They, the ships they literally cannot move. Okay. They run on ground. What should I do with the troops of, uh, Tomares? They're just standing there. Uh, which ones? Let's see, yes, yeah, yeah. They are... They are still... How far are they away? Actually, man, the player is coming in now, so... You might yeah, actually, give him a report next turn. Uh, what's the dial for the charge? Uh, I thought we'd do that next turn. Okay, then give them, I mean, these guys are now active and firing their cannons, which actually have nice effects. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <You hear> them. <laughs> um, give them one die each, because these are only light infantry anyways. Yes, the w the white one is uh infantry one. Exactly. Oops, sorry. I'm a leper, so it doesn't count my ammo. What do we have here? Advantage it yeah, So it's surprise, I mean they are probably focusing yeah. uh on uh Mong C and the ships. Yeah, so I would say the, <coughs> the French land a hit on these guys. But they're still standing the ground. Yes, they are. No, also, yeah. French yeah. also gonna hit because it's actually bad terrain. I, I, I mean, it is somewhat, of course, but I think uh, for this first round we don't apply that. Yeah. All right, I believe that is it then. That should be it, okay. And we. Uh, Silence for now from Fort Oberon because they're busy fighting for their lives. Mm, don't think that everybody will be committed to that immediately, okay. but the fire is petering off, not yes. more effective. Uh -huh. it's basically, I'm asking so uh, the other peeps can tell yep. if there's something going on there. All right, perfect. Uh, midnight report. Um, Mid Grid radius around yeah. the commanding commander. Man, only one? Yes. Yes. It's it's midnight. All right. Also remember, dispatches <coughs> uh, take can only run eight grids per turn, I believe. Yes. 
meaning also orders to far away unit proc should also be delayed by that measure, I believe, in my opinion. Uh, absolutely. Uh, what's, it's midnight, right? Yes. It's midnight, 24 or... Or zero, 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 zero. zero. <laughs> okay, so let me see if I have uh, dispatches to send off. Carterets. Dispatches, funny. Want to see if I miss one of Carterets' dispatches? He, I'm just going to say it got lost in darkness. Over here, Sir yeah, so George Don. Should we, should we put two four oh oh or zero 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 zero? Zero 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 zero. Yep. Uh, let's see. Um, I think I can get one of the reports by now to who's the ten governor. Uh, the ten governor. Sir George. Yeah, I'm just. Does uh, do Marsic know anything is happening? Uh, who is that? No Dumaresk. Um, Marsic. I mean, he can he can hear the cannonade and probably also no. slightly the church bells. I don't know. No, probably the church bells not, but the cannonade should be heard. Yeah. So that is all he knows. <laughs> And we got. Uh, the English player is going to be very confused now. At least one. Yeah. Uh, who the hell is Wittgenstein? <laughs> uh, let me see. Did he join Red? Do I don't four. know. He joined Blue Four. Yeah, it seems to be just a. Red four. Seems to be a friend of the other player okay. then. Okay, I'll go down then. Yeah. Um, regarding these forces of Le Surier, they still need time to, to get together, so don't move them for another two turns, please. Hmm? These guys, they still are assembling for another two turns. So don't move them out immediately. These guys are ready, these guys are not. Do we have anything else left to update? Yeah, this one. So, lots of lots of dispatches you're sending out there. Okay. Um, what can I tell you though? What can I tell you? Mm. The artillery bombardment to the west somewhat reduces, but is still going on. Uh, other than that, I don't think I have. Many reports, the militia forces in town are assembling and getting ready. And that should be about it. Do you have any new orders? Um, can you hear me now? Yes. So from from my position in the fort, I can't see what's happening in the bay. Can I tell if it's our guns firing or ships firing? Um, let me see. You can probably see the cannon flashes. Uh, so you know that Elizabeth Castle is still firing, and in the in the center of the bay, basically, there seem to be some cannons firing to the to the east. Yes, okay. 
Yeah, and behind them you can see Forts and Orban also firing into the bay. Do we know how many ships are in the bay? Or no, you see no. one ship is ablaze uh, on the shore in the center of the bay, but that's it. Received the message there in French. Yeah. Um, my French is excellent, as you know. <laughs> um, so, basically, this Cookie Hunter is who is Cookie Hunter? He's not one of my colonels. He's playing as the GM, or is he? Yeah, Cookie Hunter is uh, is an umpire, but you received that from oh, Lord Henry. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yes. And he is the he's the Bailey. Is that the word you gave me? Exactly. Yeah. Yes. You can you can answer him in English if you want. So <laughs> I can put it in Google Translate. I'm okay. Sure that I speak excellent French, General Sir. <laughs> General Sir George Don. I'm sure he speaks excellent French. He's an Englishman. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll 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 answer him in English, but then I'll put something in Google Translate. All right. Mon général. So let me see. One second. Yeah, sure. Okay, turn it back on again. Sorry, I just had a child thing. Yeah, no worries. So you are slowly advancing on the beach. I mean, it's it's dark. It's very rough ground, but you are making progress. You get a report that the ninety sixth uh, Grenadiers are landing right now. The captain of the Josephine, however, tells you that he has a hard time getting out of the spot where he is right now because of the wind and and all that stuff. Yeah, probably. Um, they are still trying to get it off with the rowing boats, but uh, they are making progress. Okay, yep. I got that. Yeah, they're all they're, they're following us in to follow to go follow our path in and over into the next zone. Mm-hmm. And we are moving the uh, quietly like we're not shouting until they turn over here, but we're not gonna keep the turn to ourselves. We're gonna keep moving to find out if the gang is at least partly up to it. We need to move quickly if that's their stuff. Yes. Very well, thank you very much. Uh, how much can, how fast can uh, the dispatch messenger go? Eight. Yeah, about eight, yeah, yeah. Um, Jan? Yes? Uh, British infantry in column should be able to go to us three, three grids off? Yeah, I would say three, yes. Okay. They know the island, <laughs> at least. Yeah. Uh, those are activated now here, I believe. Okay. So I can move them. Yep. And, but it's still only ended up two because I had to, they were taking the road. Yeah, our next turn, these guys are ready. We reduce the counters of these folks. Those 
are now moving, I believe, because they said they wanted to move with them. Mm -hmm. The Fort uh, Mount Orgay Castle is blowing up next turn. Okay. It was Don yes. the governor, yeah? Don is the governor, yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, Alright, I can turn that next turn and I'll maybe be able to... Uh, no, I will not give him the dispatch next turn, which is going to confuse the hell out of <laughs> only in two turns. Yeah, what else do you expect when you suddenly get a French letter? <laughs> like, really in French. <laughs> <laughs> While playing as English, I get the French. Yeah. Okay. Um... Okay, uh, question for you. Uh... Yeah. It only applies in bad terrain, which they should yeah. be. But they are at strength one uh, already, right? So they will just fall back in disarray, which is the routing symbol. They won't be reduced, but uh, I mean, it's still night and, and all that stuff. They just fall back. God, yeah. All right. I get um, permissions to copy and paste. Uh, yes. Then we can go to zero to fifteen, I believe. Uh, let me fire one cannon for Elizabeth Castle, which is nothing. Okay, yeah, I think we can continue. The British units can, depending on the terrain, up to three. So it's zero zero fifteen. Yep. And the castle is blown up. Yep, the castle is blown up. And so let me see. Let me check for dispatches because the governor is sending out a bunch giving to mark the explosion um not sure if we have the fire marker in here somewhere let me check that the smoke smoke fire yeah it was the smoke cube Doesn't really work, right? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> oh god, fucking damn it! She can go f himself. <laughs> uh, oh, no, in French. He is only writing in French, and he's writing to everybody, and meaning I have to keep rough track to. Yeah, yeah. To yeah, he's uh, he. He has to write in French, that is part of the scenario. But, uh, Wait, yeah. what? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yes. Oh, <laughs> is that this thick little... This is sort of the, the internal rivalry, so to say, between the islanders and the British officials. Do they also have to give their orders in French? <laughs> no, 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 no. And I have to find out where the hell... Okay, now the one with... Who is that up there? Uh, the sir? Where is the sir? He's on the beach. The, no, I'm... More the question, where the hell is the dispatch to the sir? Because he wrote no. four times the same thing. Uh, but... The only thing he changed is who got it. Now he wrote the same thing once and just said to all everyone. <laughs> <laughs> huh. uh, where the hell is this? Uh, 
have died. Like, should the explosion be hit everywhere on the island or? Yeah, yeah. Uh, which is the chance for this here? Someone has pulled it up. It's the first one. Oh. Yeah, I've died. Uh, <laughs> Alright, that's gonna be fun. God, uh, the general is also the lieutenant general is also writing dispatch after dispatch. This is to Carteret. Shopping will arrive next turn. All right, so it is uh, 50 minutes after midnight. Um, can I give you, what can I give you? So Fort Elizabeth or Elizabeth Castle rather is still firing onto the French in the bay and onto the French ships. And you hear a massive explosion to the east, northeast. Yep. Okay. So it was like a like a massive explosion to the east northeast. Exactly. I wonder what that could be. Alright. I sent a message a little while ago asking all my regular units to begin marching towards St Helia. So I yep. that that's been seen and gone out. And I've sent messages to the militia commanders east northeast. So that's the direction of St Catherine's Bay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, sir. Um, I think I'll remain in place and just keep on sending out my many messages. Very well. Thank you. Thank you. So, yes, I, my orders were to my regular units to begin marching back. Um, yes. Okay. Very good. Okay, mon général. So, your men are making haste and they will hit the fort within the next minutes okay. going up the slopes and the 96 is coming okay you still hear cannon fire to the west and you hear a massive explosion to the east northeast Uh, nothing, I believe. Let the signal begin first. Yeah. Okay, that's a relief. I thought we were talking about rounding off the landmine or something. <laughs> well, they, they haven't yet responded to our presence, so it doesn't seem to be where they did go. No, uh, so uh, at Fort Regent, everything seems to be calm, although you see some, some uh, lanterns and stuff are lit, uh, but that's it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Excellent. Great. Shock and alarm. Forward. <laughs> I got a few orders at that advantage here. Um, this... Oh, oh was that again? I believe if the unit is at when it only hits when the unit which is draw, uh, throwing the die is advantage. Uh, which where where are you right now here at the yeah. the fort? Yeah. Uh, all experience, yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, even if the if the enemy is advantaged, I believe. So the British are out of. The, yeah, are they? Advantage is always a good thing, as far as I know. But for whom? No, no, no. I'm confusing systems right now. 
Yeah, I think that is, this is a hit even if the enemy is advantaged. So they hit and they hit as well, right? Yeah. Uh, auto system is a bit confusing. Yeah, at some point. Um, so the question is, how do we roll that? Because they are in the uh, still in the fort. Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, they they are surprised. So let's let's say they they actually strike their colors. Uh, yeah. Especially with the ammo running low. Yep. Yeah, you can. I mean, doesn't make a lot of a difference here. Yeah, surrender them. These guys? Yeah. yeah, the French. Yep. Well, they don't get two hits, they actually roll up in the second hit. Yeah, they do. That is that is actually true, but I guess given the, the circumstances that they are more or less in, in melee here, I just reduced the strength by one. That's all right. That is okay. Let these guys uh, really pick up. Yeah, yeah. Whatever yeah, that's worth, because them. nobody is going to get them out of the bay. Yeah, the not four hours. Yeah, yeah, not before. I mean, yeah, I think three hours should be should be enough to get out the cutters. But yeah, they are sitting there on the drive. All right. Uh, he cannot activate the militia up here yet. Uh, this also, would be interesting. It takes ages until the orders get there. This is going to get interesting over here. We have the Grenadiers charging for the Regent. Undetected. And the fort is still in construction, so it doesn't provide the best of cover. Huh, interesting. Oof, big oof. So, no effects. Hit ammo, though, for the one of the French. Yeah. So uh, I'll grab an armor though from Thank you. Over here. And they blew back hit advantage. Hit ammo though, hit ammo okay, so yeah. I see. And say basically this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, what we're gonna do is have these guys whoops. These guys rode back down the shore, and I'll negate this one because the general is with them, and there is the surprise element. All right. No, they can be removed. That's it then. That should be it. Let me check for the delay of the regular forces because they are all ordered to march to Saint Helia. This one gets reduced. These guys are moving, it seems. These guys are moving. I this one should be reduced. Uh, what were the orders to the cavalry initially? None. Report back if they see something. Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're good to go. Zero thirty. Zero zero thirty. Yep. Um. What times eight is twenty four? No, not thirty. Is thirty two. Eh, uh, fine. If the last guy also gets a message now. And, oh god, I have to... Where are you getting new dispatches again? He wrote two new series of dispatches again since the first one. <laughs> to everyone. <laughs> 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 hmm. nice. So yeah. 
I am not happy with this. Next up, the yeah, we should we should use the bot next time, definitely. And also, we should tell people they they don't have infinite couriers. He's by now sent out twelve couriers. Tell him you have only like five pieces of paper. Use them all. <laughs> Only f only How small can you write? <laughs> five pieces of paper show up every hour. <laughs> and <Four more>. <laughs> uh, every five minutes. Okay, I'll go. Uh, damn it, this is. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to state that some of the messages are going to get lost. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Just die. <laughs> die of exhaustion. Not impossible. Uh, where is Mosi? At least the other one hasn't written anything yet. Card red sent one midnight. Which will arrive. We always turn. have to give a screenshot if it's exactly the same. Uh, yeah, why not? Yeah. We sure or you can also just tell them nothing changed. I'm just oh, screenshotting the screenshot. Third time uh, already. Counter. No, oh. that's good enough. And Suri. How far is he away then? That should arrive. Oh, Damn it. So George. Are you here? Yeah, you are. So, apparently, the French, the sneaky French, they came up, uh, yeah, they came up the shore and then at the very last minute they, they shouted their hurrahs or whatever, or vive l'empereur, I guess, and two battalions of grenadiers charged up the slope and hit you by surprise, but by the looks of things you have repelled one of them. And uh, are holding your ground despite Fort Regent being still under construction. Uh, we're low on ammunition, is that what that symbol means? Yes, but you have supplies close by, so that shouldn't be an issue for you. As they don't capture my supplies. Yeah. Okay, uh, I would like to immediately order the militia units um, to my side there. Mm -hmm. Can I send a courier to them and call them immediately? Form up um, so to the right of Fort Hen Regent um, and the supply wagon for the fall back behind them both. Um, yep, the troops are to hold the fort as long as possible. All right. Like the fort is going to be overrun. I am to abandon the fort myself uh, and head immediately north. I do not wish to be captured in the in the city. Yep. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Very good. I'll send a courier. Staff informing them what's happening. Sure. Mon général, mon général, vive l'empereur! <laughs> vive l'empereur, vive l'empereur! So, your men sneak up uh, and then charge eventually up the slope, uh, shouting their vive l'empereurs, and they are hitting the. Uh, which turns out to be the 48th Northamptonshire, I believe, um, by surprise. But those were somewhat alert already because of the artillery fire in the bay. So uh, you didn't manage to overrun them immediately. One of the grenadiers um, were a bit shaky due to the darkness and all that. So they fell back in disarray. But the 96th are now coming up on your left flank. Okay, well, the 24th are being mocked and told to get back up here and act like grenadiers. 
Okay, they shall try that. Cold steel. Give them the cold steel, yes. There you go. Thank you very much. Gut, Safratz. Hallo, hallo. Ah, this cutter should by now. What's, what's the time again? Oh, 30. So I guess the cutter is spec up. All right. Next turn, attack Elizabeth Castle. Ah, oh, interesting. They are going to get there this turn. Nope. You see, I'm surprised they're getting the artillery that far, considering I'm not sure if they have draft elements without them. It's going to be hopeless. Would be hopeless. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, have you taken a look at the at the thing? Uh, should be down yeah, here, I I've guess. Been to a few museums, including the Napoleonic one in uh, military museum in Paris. French one. <laughs> Why isn't there a the Elizabeth Castle one not showing up? Anyways, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty rough ground around the castle and it's very steep walls, so don't know if a frontal assault is uh, feasible at all. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, but why are this? I mean, that that's the entrance here, so maybe that would somewhat work. They probably want to hit them everything at the same time. Yeah. So. Maybe they can sneak up to the wards and then, I don't know, try to get up. Have they brought any ladders, though? I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> they might have gotten some, I don't know, enter half. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Uh -huh. You know what I mean. Yeah. Okay, these guys will move next turn. These guys still need some time. Because these up here already moved. So, uh, wait, is this one? Should be ready this turn, I believe. Okay, then they can start marching. What else? What else? Um, this unit down here is uh, one of Le Surieurs. Has it received any orders? Uh, no, not at all. Okay. He doesn't even know that he has those units. Yeah, so I guess because of the cannon sound they are assembled and as soon as they get word they will be moving out, but... Whose unit is this one? Maybe they send a courier to find out what's going on. Uh, these are regulars. Uh, they will be moving out next turn. The governor has ordered them to come to St. Helier. Okay. Um, did you resolve the battle on the St. Helier yet? I don't think uh, so. No, no, no. Okay, then that's open. Yep. And yeah. Okay, what do we have here? Only in bed. Mm. What the fuck? Two or three experience only, uh, even if advantage. So these are British regulars, Northamptonshire. They are no. That's that's just this the state. There's no quality assigned here. Um. So let's say they are quality two. However, they are disrupted. So I would say that is a big nothing. Question is, is the enemy in bad terrain? Yeah, probably yes. these guys are. So they will then route. And what do we have here? Yes, yeah. 
So these guys are going to surrender. And they just have an ammo low, so they are... They already are, but... Uh, yeah, which means they are now out of ammunition. So that is a bit of an issue. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes. Will they get disrupted by these guys surrendering? I don't know. I don't think so. Let's take away... Yep, sorry. Yeah, I just wanted to yep. die, so... Yep, yep, yep. That's basically it for now. Yeah, the next ship is coming in. So that is barking. Yep. Okay. That should be it. That should be it. All right. Uh, next report. Have to, have to see all the goddamn messages. Yeah, me too. Okay. Zero zero forty five. Exactly. At least it's better than Austerlitz. <laughs> I assume so, yes. We didn't have to juggle messages, but Austerlitz was just <laughs> stress. <laughs> Yeah, very interesting. I think he was, by the plan, I think he was supposed to relocate actually, use his ships and come back around to the bay. <laughs> I'm not sure what he is doing currently here, sitting there on the shore. Uh, you can right click and then go on the looping effect fire. Let's see. Uh, Of the fortification here, you can take onto the ship. No, no, not heavy guns. That's a fuck ton of wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, Those heavy guns aren't even light guns like uh, six or four pounders. Those are probably heavy yep. guns, and those are easy two or three tons. <laughs> okay, and the normal and guns are already up. one and a half. You you cannot blow them up, you can destroy the carriages, you can uh, nail down the firing hole, but you cannot really blow them, you might blow them up with double or triple powder charges. Like yeah, powder so what, charges. what you usually do is just spike them and that's it. Yeah, because that means it's going to take some time, but not a lot of effort to get them back into service yourself. Yep. Uh, okay. And they're oh, just... they will be blown up. If you spike a gun, it basically means the enemy can't use them for um, for the immediate fighting anymore, even if they recapture it. Well, you say I wanted to blow him up. Well, yeah, he can. He, I mean, all he can do is burn the the thingy where they are. And they're just gone. <laughs> <laughs> also, can the entire brigade fit onto Carter and the sloop? Uh, which one are you talking about now? This day. Um, I mean, they have now also the prisoners, so probably not. Not everybody. Um, he wanted to go into the ships and go to the rest of the army, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that were his orders. But first, blow up the cannons. Okay, I gotta give reports. Um, Bonjour. 
Bonjour. So, the charge is going in again. The 96 are joining. And... <laughs> yeah, uh, unfortunately the 4th, uh, the battalion of the 4th Grenadiers fell back as well. They are now also out of ammunition. And the 96th came in and basically overrun an enemy garrison company, I guess. Yep. Yes. Where, what are my options for more ammunition? Would, would the drone screens still be available to get around them, or am I better to just get them bought? Uh, the Josephine is still in the bay, so you could you could get ammunition from those, yeah. Or you can just try to get something from the from the fort. I mean, there is obviously something, but there should, yeah, there should be a supply of rounds. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, I'll just... For the purpose of we're attacking this problem still, I'll just tell the fort to rally and get their butts up here. 24th, likewise. Yeah. Um, yeah, and you know, I personally am joining and leaving the 96 to sleep in true standoff style with sleeping in peace. <laughs> Very good. I will, leave them in, I will leave these grenadiers and show them what's possible. <laughs> there you go. So George, the French are charging relentlessly. They have thrown another uh, battalion of grenadiers into the fray, and one of your your regular garrison companies uh, has surrendered to them. However, you have pushed back uh, their the, the enemy unit on their flank, and you the militia units are coming up through the town to form on your flank. The second part you said. What was the other part thing you said? In between those two, so uh, you have pushed back right. one of the enemy battalions, and uh, so one of yours surrendered, but you've pushed back another of the enemy, and the militia militia is coming to form on your flank. Okay, all right. Um, do you want to scoot or do you stay with the men? wagons to the north the infantry the regulars i have are to stay yeah let's keep going with the plan let's try and hold the fort one more time mm -hmm. uh, and then i may call off a immediate retreat after that all right but i can't see any other units has the gunfire in the bay still occurring uh let me see so it has reduced further okay. yeah but there's still there's still gunfire and also musketry to be heard The other question I had is these round forts, the Martello Towers, are yes. they manned, or do the units nearby have to say they're commanded? Uh, the units nearby basically have to man them. Okay. But so yeah. Let's, let's let's stand one more one more round and see how we go. Okay. Okay. Thank you. We'll bring the militia into action on our support there. Yep. And the supply wagon, so they head immediately to the north. All right, perfect. Thank you. Uh, these guys take another turn. Everyone's still giving them far too large of a screenshot. Hmm. No. Zero. Zero. Yeah. The screenshot are giving them is still far too large. Only one grid from the commanding piece. Awesome. Uh, oh, step over. Uh, Only 
in bed. Well, that is a disruption on the Grenadiers. I mean, it's a hit, yeah. But this one... Why is the bad terrain? Not sure. I think only the target. <laughs> yeah, but are they in bad terrain? Mm, I'm not sure. Do you count a, a fort under construction as bad terrain or as good terrain? A construction uh, area is always bad terrain. Okay, so then that's a hit. In my opinion. Yeah. Have you seen? Yeah, yeah, that's a good argument, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, wait a second. I have to. How do I mark all three? With control? Yeah. Yeah, control. Let's see. Uh, advantage hit? Mm, no. Oh, uh, yeah, it is a hit. The enemy is advantaged. Yeah. Hit ammo low. Uh, I get you an ammo low. I have got one. Okay. Oh crap, I I wanted to get one. I'm not sure if I accidentally destroyed one on Yeah, you just deleted yes. the, the unit. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <clears throat> uh, and this one uh hit apply only bad terrain. Yes it hits because um let's do it on them i think but mm -hmm. yeah okay so that means these guys are falling back and they are reduced actually by one come on okay and these guys well that's the big question the ford oh, i'd say they okay yeah, give them, give them a row. Okay, so this is this. They might be no, suppressed. Uh, no, that's cavalry. We need the red one. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see. Two hits, sir. Well, then these guys will surrender. Okay, then they're just surrender, gun, whatever. A very fortunate outcomes for the French against the forts. That's interesting. Yeah. Only the the main attack against Fort Regent is somewhat slow. Mm. Oh, he's probably not here. How long will it take for the French to get to the ships? And can they go to the ships uh, with the, even with the prisoners? Yeah, they can. They have a schooner, so they should even be able to get the prisoners with them. Yeah, so and it takes uh, fifteen minutes per block to get on the ships. Oh, huh, interesting. Yeah, okay. So how long will it take until the ships are ready to sail? Um, half an hour to forty-five minutes. Do we have anything else to do? I don't think so. These guys moved. These guys moved. Okay. Then we are good. Yeah. Did the, which unit did I delete accidentally? Uh, yeah, one of the... It was... Uh, let me copy oh, that. Yeah. I see, I see. My, my head bangs. Well, uh, Alright. Let's do... Wait, is Frank... Frank isn't back yet from his report yet. Okay. He's taking ages. Yeah, um, that might be because the, he has a new player there. Frank, you done? Frank? Yes. Or you, are your orders done? Can we go to one o'clock? Yes, we can. Okay. Right. So if the, um, if the, I think this is a new player, if he needs too much time, you need to just cut him and say, Come on, we need the orders. Yeah. Okay. He was actually pretty fast this time. 
All right, perfect. It's 100, not 130. Theo. What? You wrote 0130 in yours. Should be 100, John, yes. Okay, next round of reports. Oh, that's probably too much considering there's fighting going on here. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of stacking I'm kind of stacking them up in the channels, like I copy them over but don't send them. And then I, I just go through the channels and try to figure out which one arrives and which one But yeah the governor is also sending out like I don't know five reports each turn. So. Unfortunately it's the darkest night and they got lost. Oh, I, I almost wrote 10 a.m. <laughs> and suddenly it is morning. <laughs> Why the time jump? Let me see, Carteret. It's again to everybody. Oh man. At least it's only four players, otherwise I wouldn't just tell them all to screw themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, another this patch. <sighs> yes, yes. <laughs> okay, well. I think I just climbed first. The regulars. Uh, yeah. This Petraeus can move eight spaces, right? Yes. What? If I, okay, I don't care anymore. If I accidentally lost one, the messenger got lost, broke his horse's legs, or whatever. Not yeah, awesome. that's all right. That's all right. That's part of the game. Especially when we are playing night scenarios, so or the the players they they chose to play at night, so there's that. I just got drunk. Oh yeah, their guns should be blown now. Mon General, in the heat of the of the fighting still going on um, over the construction site that is Fort Regent, you take a look at your pocket watch and see that it is by now uh, 0100. Um, the enemy seems to be slowly giving way, but there are indications that some more forces are mobilizing in the city. Um, the Grenadiers are pushing forward and you are in good spirits that the fort should be taken within 15 minutes. Yeah, you get a report from the bay. Uh, the fourth is behind. They are currently getting ammunition from the Josephine. And you have uh, received word from the Limperial that they are now ready to operate again. Uh, what else can I tell you, actually? Let me see. So. Uh, you cannot. You see the flashes of artillery from the bay, which you assume is uh, targeted on Elizabeth's castle. And however, the artillery fire 
going out of uh, Elizabeth's castle is dying down currently. Uh, other than that, further to the west there's nothing you could see. Um, that should be it, I guess. So what kind of castle do you have those two Royal Navy vessels? Um, I guess you get a report from one of your men that they are still in port. Uh, if you really want to do that, yes. I guess you could also just uh, send down uh, a squad and seize the ships if you wanted to. Absolutely. This has been. I, I've got no idea what's going on anywhere else around. I assume this is open for anyone to escort what I think it is. Um, but it is invigorating fighting with these. Like, I hope that everyone is doing what I have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't know. No means of, no means of contacting me. We're just going to keep. <laughs> <laughs> That's the issue with fighting at night, I guess, on a foreign island. Good luck. So George, um, the fighting is still going on, um, but your men are giving ground. The grenadiers are pushing, pushing, pushing. Um, mm -hmm. I guess you get a report that Le Surieur's men are closing in on the town. And you also receive reports from your regulars that they are on the way. Yep. You get reports from your regulars. Yeah. Yep, they are marching. Huh? And got the two reports there. Okay. Oh, this, what is, this is in addition to the courier that I've received, is it? Yes. Um, what else can I tell you? The artillery fire at and from Elizabeth's castle is dying down. And that should be all I can tell you. Yes. Okay. I can only see the two grenadier units. Um, mm -hmm. If that's the case, All right, yes. I'm going to I'm going to evacuate Saint Helier. Uh, so the the regulars who can are to march north, and I'm ordering the militia to march north. Um, I'm going to send a courier out, urging uh, all commanders to to join up five squares north of Saint Helier. Um, so that's my ultimate location. I'm planning to retreat to. I think it's time to abandon the fort and concentrate. All right, we will do that. Sure. Okay. Thank you. And I've got a courier ready to go with that. Perfect. Okay, Miss Victory, when you need her. <laughs> uh, yeah, where is the Royal Navy now? <laughs> yeah. Yes. The cavalry. I mean, it's still still at night, so they can't go full speed. Um, let's say f four, maybe. Pow, pow, pow! These guys run low. That's a hit, and they do hit back. Okay, so they hit, and these guys will rout. Can they actually be reduced? No. So the question would be, do they surrender instead of routing? They'll probably just run, run away, considering they've got a clear way to get out. But I guess the ammunition would be also low. So they'll just are. run away as fast as they can. Alright, there we go. By the way, can the route one get back to like uh what is it? 
to the second state. Oh god, what did you do? What happened? Uh, guys, I can do one more turn, and then after that I have to go. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, so... Jan? Yeah? What's, uh... What are you what folks happened? doing? What's happening? Somebody is turning back, rewinding time. Do not use control Z. Or Z at all. Well, we have to use it because someone is changing the map state and the that causes the pieces to fall through the map. So someone is hitting the number keys while hovering over the map and changing the map state back and forth. Uh, yeah. Um, Jan. Yeah. What's this unit here? Go from route back to... They... Yes, they would start to rally yes okay the french are doing quite well i think uh but there are reinforcements coming in here so and uh yeah, but the french are coming from here as well i'm here yeah and this brigade will also come uh, out uh, this one is not going to matter that's going to take at least another hour hour and a half to get there more at least but Finally, this part is running up there. <laughs> like, three infantry and one cavalry. That's great. I mean, they did blow up the castle. That wasn't yeah. a bad idea. Yeah, sure. Uh, Good distraction. And artillery. Good distraction. Okay. Uh, did I move this one? I'm not sure. Good, then we can give uh, the next round of reports, which should be 0115. Great, please leave this green line, which has no business of being here. I tried to erase it again, but it didn't work. Yeah, you have to try a few more times. Yeah, uh, you have to try harder. Yeah, just try harder. Is that the, the new Christmas movie? Try harder. How far can ships go in one move? Um, where are they? Those guys? So they are going. Yeah, the question, uh, the problem is they're going against the wind, so that will take some time. Um, going against the wind, at least depending on what you mean. Oh, those, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they are. They are forced to, to, I don't know what the English word cross. is, to cross. Yeah. I think it's cross. Um, so that will take them probably an hour to get here. Where? Uh, where they want to go, I think half of the part or wherever they want to go. Oh man, so many dispatches. <laughs> Why? I have to somehow deal with the stress of the Umpiring. Yeah, <laughs> it's that sort of thing. Oh, dispatches. The stress of dispatches. Uh, let's see. Sollen uns doch selbst ein Reiten und Bescheid geben. Carter it. This one arrives. Uh, guys, by the way, this is going to be my last run on Empire. Mm -hmm. But they don't have the Hydra yet. So, yeah. somebody else will replace me. Yeah, won't be a problem. We'll just split you up. Yeah. No. Nope. Uh, honestly, we should probably finish this soon. Just because I'm not sure how much longer I can stay as well. Mm hmm. I have to get some things done before well, the ACTV game, uh, ACW game. Yeah. Where is Dima Resk by now? Oh, that should probably also arrive.
Okay. Sir George, you have evacuated yourself from the fort and the militia is following you. Um, the combat noise in the fort is still continuing. There is no more combat noise from the southwest though. And that is all I can tell you. Squares am I from the from the town? It's hard to tell on this little map. Uh, about three squares. Yep, yep. I'll mark where I'm at. And the militia follow me, but I'm not sure about the regulars. Is that what you're saying? They might have been overrun. Yeah, potentially. Or they are still sort of locked in combat. Okay. Yep. Very good. Supply wagons have gotten away. I hope. Yep. What's the, on the left of the picture you've shown me, I can see something, what's that? That appears to be some group of disorganized, very quickly moving men in red uniforms. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Let, let's me ride that way and encounter those men. Okay. Um, yep, and I will, I still have, I've got another courier, the courier's ready to go, I think, so I'll... Mon General. So, eventually you have taken control of the fort. Um, the remaining enemy forces scattered away for the might of the French grenadiers and the ships have surrendered. Yeah, they basically, some jumped down the walls and I mean, uh, remember this is still all under construction, so there might be paths for them to get out. That's fine. I just want to understand where the fort is going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, north. They went north. Okay. And are there any tents or any, what, what else can I, so what else can I perceive before I can move? Uh, you can, so the combat noise to the west has now completely died down. Other than that. You, mm -hmm. you catch a confused citizen of St. Helia who believes to run into the Lord uh, or Lieutenant Governor, Sir George, but apparently is captured by your grenadiers. And they find out that a, a small column of militia forces are currently entering the town. From the west, from the northwest. Okay, and I still don't know what those yellow explosions are. They're nothing I can check with my units, right? The yellow explosion markers on your units, this is just a disruption from the combat. Okay, that's all right. Okay, um, can I move these short action? Uh, that would take quite some time. Those are heavy guns. Uh, let me see, count these, probably half an hour. Okay, um, I can see the, I want the fourth to come up from inside the fort. Um, yep. And I want the, uh, so the fourth to come up and replace the 96th. Mm -hmm. The 96th and the, sorry, the 24th and the 4th are then to man the northern wall. Mm -hmm. the The guns are in range of Elizabeth's castle. So the, the, it's like Elizabeth's castle is still fighting at the front? Uh, no. Okay. There are no more musket flashes there, no more noise. I will assume we can trust that. Um, I will, yeah, so get them to bring the battery point there and the battery at the very front of the ship. Mm -hmm. Bring them both up, up to the northern end of this fort. Okay. Facing in the direction that they went. All right, we get that underway. Thank you very much.
Yeah, it's order to for order to basically like know. Uh, he said that he wants to join the Commando mod thing. So it's Jake Stone. I know it's Jake Stone. Just in the patch, I forgot. So that's what they call Florida. It's a large Florida. So they pretty much join the game. Mm -hmm. to go now so you guys have to be noticed um, so basically this guy wants to sail around to do this and this guy just joined with the with the commander and yeah and this unit over here uh, order was to check the town what's going on mm -hmm. once they are there to report back to him okay and that's pretty much it where's Tom oh yeah I forgot so this unit is up in town right now oh Okay, I have to go. See you guys. I'll yeah, thank you. Bye. Take care. Bye bye. See ya. All right. Um, I basically Which already did. Hmm? Which channel is Don? Don, uh, Sir George, is that? Oh, Sir George. I think I'm not. Mad. All right. What now? Uh, so you have to go now as well? No, I still have half an hour or half okay. an hour, an hour, somewhere around that. And let's, let's quickly try to resolve two more turns at least. Alright. Um, I don't think we've got any fighting, so... No. If we have all the movement done, we can just go on after reassigning who gets what. Yeah, I can probably take Pierre. I mean, they are moving anyway, so there's nothing okay. to be done. All right, then let's go to 0115, uh, 0130. 0130, yeah. Okay. Mostly discovers that the ships he wanted to burn are already captured. Napoleon Total War, where the beach, the HMS Victory is being burned. <laughs> yeah. It's stupid. I miss the early Total War ones. Currently, the ones that come out are all stupid. Yeah, they are not, not the best. But That's also, certainly I can't true. Run them on my shitty old PC. <laughs> oh, yeah, that well, that is a different story. <laughs> yeah. I have some problems with TTS. Everybody except those who spend quite a bit of money have problems with TTS considering it's it's you it's doing things in 3D and you don't need 3D. Yeah. So just do it with paper. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, don't forget to take away my assistant empire role after the game because Yeah, sure. Otherwise, I might accidentally see something after the the, the game. Which... Accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I try not to because frankly, yeah. it takes away the fun if you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's not e partially competitive. Uh, partially because it just goes against the spirit of it, and partially because it's dumb if you try to cheat because mm -hmm. there's nothing on the line anyway. Yep. So many goddamn messages. All right. So your men are getting into position. They are reforming. They are getting ammunition. Some start right. moving the guns. Yeah. No worries. So uh, the grenadiers are reforming. They are getting into defensive positions, grabbing ammunition. Some are starting to move guns around. Uh, the ships in the harbor have surrendered and you can make out a marching column of French infantry coming in from the west across the shore. Very well. Yeah, well, I guess you can go down to the harbor and then yep, that works out. Yep. Yep, the 
Mm-hmm. All right, let me see. You should actually be together with Monsieur now. There you are. So, uh, Sir George, you are catching the remnants of the second company, second battalion of the 48th North Hampshire Regiment. So, some regulars who made it out of Fort Regent, and you're rallying them currently. While Le Sieur is coming up with a column of militiamen. Very good. There's no more combat uh, noise to the south. Again, over. <laughs> Repeat yourself, please. Sorry. There is no more combat noise to your south. So, none from. None from Fort Region and none from Elizabeth Castle. Okay. All right. um, I've put a picture there saying where I want to retreat. I'll have to form the army up around this point, so five squares north of Satalia on top of that little ridge or rise on the high ground. Yes. Overlooking the thing. So if I can start to deploy any units that will respond to my orders. Am I co located with Colonel Lesseur? Is that where you Yes. Are? Exactly. Yes, thank you. Aha, uh -huh, you're here. Good morning, General. Good morning, Colonel. Sorry. Um, how are you today? <laughs> Etc. I'm. Um, yeah. <laughs> hey, give me, give me a report, please. Uh, I. Yeah, do you, do you need orders from me first, or you want to do? Uh. You can yeah, talk. That's alright. You want me to form up? I have three. Or what are each? What is each block? Is each block a division? Companies. companies. Yeah, companies. <laughs> I have three companies of infantry in two uh, artillery sections, and I'll form them up wherever you need. I. Chief L'Empereur. Um, let me see. You are currently on the ships, I figure, and you are relocating. Yes. We don't have a screenshot. That is because you are just on the ships. Uh, let me give you a, a beautiful, beautiful screenshot. Yes. There you go. Sailing through the dark night. Uh, you do know what I wanted to do, right? Um, I, if I'm not mistaken, to Havre de Pa. Yes. Ah, that's actually the okay. Yep, got it. The prisoners and everybody's aboard, right? Yes, everybody is with you on the ships. Towards our objective. Sure. Okay, so who else do I have to take care of? Is that Dumaresk? Isn't he mine? Uh, yeah, potentially. Ah, oh, that was then probably the sewer. Okay. Oh, right, him. All right. The blue units. The blue units. To the far I side. I brought those. I those are with. I waited. To, I I was late because I waited waited to regroup with my far units. Yeah. Well, except well one. Done. I've, well done. I have one it's company. The one down the far south, I guess. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. I told them south. to go to. St. Albine before I found out that I believe St. Albine is gone, so I'm not sure and about their current location. I don't know where any of my regulars are, um, so I've called them all to meet here, and if we're forced from here, we're retreating five more squares north. Um, Can I, just so I, because I know we're going north and we're five squares north, but which exact, oh right, zero zero is the block where it says Regent, right? Where it says Fort Regent, which is the one right. spot below the city, but it's just going right. to be the easiest place. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then to the two left of that? Yes, so we'll deploy in that one and to the one to its immediate left, and if we need to, we'll just put it down and to the left of that. Does that make sense? I yes. would need orders from uh, Syria. Excuse me. 
Excuse me, I need orders now from Colonel Lusuria. Okay. The, let me, uh, I'll write it the, the block we're exactly in. So, um, from where I currently am, I suppose, because I'm in that, the same block with the governor, uh, down one block and then over one block and into the block one left, or over, sorry. Down one, left one. You want to go to the same position where Sir George goes? Yes. Yeah. Form up. Okay. Can do that, I guess. Thank you very much. Yep. All okay. right. Do we have uh, any combat or anything? Don't think so, no, right? I don't believe so. I just need, I forgot to do so, but I need to move my... Stuff still, at least for the British. They are still coming up. These guys should be closing in on the town now. Don't think they have any new orders. Meaning they will run right into the French. Yeah, I mean, I will double check that, but I don't think there is anything happening. What? So they now want to go here, which they. Both yeah, should both be regulars. Don't know why that looks different. I uh, need to check if they run a ground. I mean, it's still in the middle of the night. The small one on a one. Nope. The big one, three to one. Nope. Okay, they're all good. And actually, by now, let me see, we are one water is rising, so. Day two is funny. They are starting to get off the ships here. That's it. I think the prisoners are going to stay aboard. Yeah, probably. <clears throat> no reason to take them off. Where? Uh, over here, yeah, yeah. It's just because the ships are there, so. <laughs> uh, British uh, soldiers don't drown, they float. <laughs> they float. Does Les Uyen know there's an infantry in South Albin or something like that? Uh, yeah, they moved into the town and checked that. So they will give him a report in two turns and say, mm. Mm. Wait, I have to check. Is Sam Miller on the ACW one on the Union or Confederate side? <laughs> <laughs> Union forever. Wait, I mean, it's still Confederate. Because I'm not sure if he's on the Confederate or Union yeah, side. Conf yeah, you are Confederate. No, I'm a Union. Damn it. <laughs> A union rep uh, representative of Congress. I'm a Confederate representative of Congress for Georgia. To me for New York. Because you're from old Virginia. Okay, we can uh, give uh, the next report oh. then. <laughs> Sam Miller is con a Confederate. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, reports, please. I'll just do Bonchance as well because he's okay. Sure. With Monsi, oh, so you no wind and ears. Uh, let's see. Du, 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 du. Are you ready for the next update? Yes, one forty-five. Oh, okay. Do they know about the British Redcoats coming from the east? Uh, no. It'd be mm. funny to let uh, the general just to sail back to France. Other question. Uh, can't they get back from Rally to a better state or is that the best they can get? They can get up 
better than just uh, when they were at rally, just remove the marker. Okay. Uh, well, oops. I'll just this. The, it won't show in the screenshot yet, but it won't matter for this turn anyway. Yep. Uh, and Cutter Red, who is also coming up. Do I have to give two? No, one. I'm doing Carter Ripper's Shorts and Mossy. Yeah, I have Pierre, uh, Don, and Sue. <sighs> the main problem with the dispatches comes from Carter Red. Well, mine comes from George. I don't really have problems with dispatches. Colonel Pierre, your ships arrived despite the darkness, but with the rising tide, um, you pass through the rocks, and your first battalions are currently landing on the beach. Um, I guess you can already somewhat make out that there are infantry north of you on the shore, which appear to be French. Yes, you see the French, the Imperial flag flying over the castle. I see. And what about Fort uh, Regent? Fort Regent, there as well. Okay. All right. And, uh, I suppose we'll march north into St. Helio. Into St. Helio we go. Yes. Guarded by the Queen. Mm -hmm. Sure. Thank you. Gentlemen, your men are forming on the indicated positions and you are trying to rally the remnants of the regulars there with you. You get a report from uh, the... let me see which ones that are. The Royal Veteran Battalion is. <clears throat> they are closing in on St. Helia and are awaiting your orders. Yeah, so, remind who, sorry? That are the Royal Closing in on St. Helia. Battalion, the ones yes. who are down to the south. Uh, they're down near Groville Bay. They were at Grovel Bay, yes. They are now close to St. Helia. The town, just so. Um, tell them to march north and to the rendezvous location. Very well. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Other than that, just uh, continuing to deploy. Uh, yes. Have I received any reports from company that was originally stationed in St. Berlaid? Uh, not yet. I see. Alright, yeah, then, yeah, just another courier and ask him. Hmm? And send another courier and ask him if they can just get a order okay. to the state. Uh, yeah, I want to send there. another messenger mm -hmm. to go find them. They're supposed to be on the high ground above yep. St. Alvin. Okay. Will do, thank you. Yep. This, this Frenchman's being very annoying, this lord, goodness me. <laughs> Doesn't he realize he's half an hour behind? He needs to do what I tell him, so we don't have to have this whole passing of whispers. I think he's being deliberately obstreperous, Jan. Huh. I think you have, I think you have, I think you have told this Frenchman something. Very good. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Oops, that was the wrong channel I wanted to go <clears throat> to. Let's see. We have another flood of couriers, I believe. Lord Carteret. This one will not arrive yet. Hannibal is Dumaresque. He is now, yeah. So this one will arrive. Mm -hmm. Not here, not here. OK. 
can I change his server name? The nickname, but that is not the server name, right? Hello. Hello. Do you know whether I can change a player server name? Probably not, right? The nickname is only displayed to myself, I guess. Uh, let's see, I will change the nickname. Ah, they, yeah, okay, they are displayed to everybody. Okay. Do my Discord even answers my questions. Nice. Nice. Lower, uh, nice, 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 nice. Okay. Um, what the fuck? Theo is coming back and it's fucking damn it. Fucking damn it. Um, I've already moved. Um, moved everything. Yeah, I've moved everything. Perfection. Uh, oh, and so he wants to get the ships that are still alive into the to here, I believe. Mm -hmm. Why would that be? I don't know, but those are the orders. Okay. Yeah. Let's just uh, slowly move them. All right. The crossing and all that stuff. Okay, I guess we can then give out new reports. There shouldn't be any combat at all. Nope. Oh, what time is it? Uh, oh, 200. Yep. Yeah. 200. Uh, we are continuing with 200. Uh, oh, 200 now. I'm still. Moving the pieces. Okay. Okay. There. What's that? Um, just regular. Uh, who is pinging me? If it's. Uh... <laughs> I still do not. Wait. Oh, you are doing. Uh, oh. Monsi. Uh, you are doing bon chance. Yeah, I paste it to Monsi as well. Oh, okay, yeah. But they are no longer co located. Yeah, okay. I'll still, still run to Monsi then. Mm -hmm. Okay, then Kateri is up north. This is stuff. Oh, dinosaurs! I believe they're dogs, but it looks kind of like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs? No, they yeah, they are dogs. That was uh, just a silly joke because in the first iteration of the scenario, a cartridge was played by Marshall, and as as he loves dogs, he got some. Yeah. Shit. But just a dog instead of a real marker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, probably a little bit. Oh, generous on that screenshot. Uh, Pierre. Oh, um, screenshot. Uh, uh, you can take um, Pierre again. I've just sent him the screenshot, but that's uh, no, okay. Uh, the problem is, I'll be quite busy, so if it's not a problem, I'll like to drop out. Okay, yeah. yeah. That's all right. All right, thanks. Well, good luck. Yeah, thanks again. Take care. Vive l'Empereur! <laughs> Alright, gentlemen. Your men are forming up. Uh, militia columns are coming, joining you there on the flanks. The regulars of the Royal Veteran Battalion uh, acknowledge your orders. They are moving north as well. You don't hear any combat noise whatsoever. 
Silence is the night. Everything. Hopefully the French will fall asleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I should have ordered the pubs open with my band in the city. <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it. All right. Uh, next time, put that in my my list of thirty. Mm -hmm. um, so the British regulars. So how far are they from our location? Do they report how many squares they have? Uh, I guess by now, probably three or so. From me. Yes. Sir has this situation well in hand, so I would like to ride to my east uh, or southeast to locate the head of the regulars and to bring them up uh, onto the ridge next to where Lesseur has his troops. Does that make sense, sir? Yes, that makes sense. And, and hopefully I'll be back and we'll be relocated together in just a moment. Hold this position, Colonel, until at least Dumaresque arrives. Um, and I'll be back in just a moment. Yep. My orders to you, Colonel. Thank you. Um, thank you, Jan. I'm having a great time. Hope you're enjoying yourself as well. Yeah, that's uh, the game is uh, going very interesting. So very different to the first iteration as well. So that's great to see. Sehr gut. Sehr gut. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you get well very soon. <laughs> bon general. So the troops are forming, the guns are brought up uh, slowly, but they are. Um, you can see more Frenchmen coming ashore to the west. Um, Um, you you get no. That is probably it. You can't hear any combat noise. You don't see any enemies. This is what we're trying to avoid. Uh, let me see. So we're trying to put two battalions of grenadiers and myself in northern the town. Ah. Mm -hmm. All right. In the absence of that, I'm waiting for Ellerton's Dutch force to come join us to achieve their objective. We All right. Ripped, we've torn the bay open. If we consolidate here before the enemy comes in, possibly we may go in. Otherwise, okay. I'm happy. I've secured the major town, got the fort. We have the arm for our guns. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Very well. How? Uh, both basic basic Monsi and Bonchance wanted to move cannons positions. Can we simulate that somehow? Yeah, I have moved one of the heavy guns over. It took them quite a while, but they did get some. Okay. Uh, that does not work. Okay. They can't do that. Yeah, yeah, they okay. can't do that. I mean, they could, oh, of course, try, but it would take forever to get them across the shore and all that. Also here. Yeah, interesting situation. Supposed to scout, and those are coming up. Yeah, they are supposed to somewhat take position over here, I guess. Yeah, they are supposed to take that hill. Yeah. Um. So, is Monsi actually here? Is he in danger of getting caught? I, I don't think he. <laughs> I mean, he's probably at the head of the column, but okay. Uh, he's on. He's probably not that far. Yeah, because it's ahead. it's night. We will we will uh, we will roll one die each and see if they stumble into each other. But that's all. 
So the infantry does hit and the cavalry does hit as well. So let's say disruption on both. And the cavalry, as they are light dragoons, they scatter away. They have done their scouting job, and these guys are delayed then by skirmishing. Uh, those have already moved. Oh, okay. Perfect. So basically, those are staying down here. So okay, yep. Makes sense. That's a fuck ton of units up there. Yeah, I'm wondering if the British uh, decide to attack at some point. at this moment because I have mm -hmm. something to do but yep. these all the British are in one place. <laughs> yeah. so exactly. No dispatches to throw around. Exactly. Alright. I'm out for now. Yeah, thank you very I'll much. See you later. Yeah. No problem. Bye bye. And now my, okay, something weird happened to my Discord, but I'm back. Okay, they get a report. Did I report to those guys? Did I give you folks a report already? No, no. Okay, so my my assistant umpires are melting away. So um, the that is concerning Le Surya, the the fir the first company of the southwestern Royal Jersey Militia Regiment sends a courier, reporting that they find Fort Saint, uh, firstly Saint Alban Harbor. Um, the ships in there are destroyed, and apparently also Fort Saint Alban is set ablaze. Do they see any troops? No. No troops at all. And other than that, the regulars have arrived. You see Carteret coming up on the flank. And that's that's it, I guess. You see Lord Carteret coming up on the flank? Yes, he's coming from the east. Is there a 215 map or is this still the 200 map? Let me double check. Let me double check. I think it's still the 200 map. Yep. Yeah, should be it. I don't see the regulars on that map that you say, unless that's those boys on there. Yeah, you basically went over and uh, the head of the column appeared, so they are currently getting into position there on that. Yeah. On that, uh, Excellent. very good. And Lord Carteret is coming as well. Yes, yes. Um, very good. I, I, I can see him to the east. Yeah. Um, I'd like the what is it? The fourth south or the fifth southwest? Uh, over in the west to make their way to us, avoiding. Mm -hmm. uh, Sure. So urge you, Colonel, to look to your flank. If they've taken St. Alban and are marching across the sand, there's every possibility that they're coming up on our, to our sort of map, right, to the right of our line. All right, I think we can give our reports 0215. The question is, 
Yeah, for how long can we can we continue running this with only two two umpires? Do you feel confident taking care of four players? About four? Yeah. How many friends are there again? Four. Uh, four players on both sides. Yeah, I guess I'll take command of all French and you're the British, or...? Mm -hmm. Okay, if the, if the British do not decide to attack the French within the next two turns, we, we end the game. It's a bit unfortunate for Desert because he was most of the time s sitting and then sailing around, but yeah. Okay, I take all the British then. Sees a lot of wood. <laughs> uh, Can't just the same screenshot. Give everyone the same screenshot. <laughs> Uh, Bouchons and Mossy co-located? Uh, no, no, Mossy moved out and had a skirmish with the Dragoons here. Okay. I pretty much still have the same view. No. Yeah. Gentlemen. It's either a, um, action, or it's, um, or it's another landing. But either way, if the French are landing if they're landing in overwhelming numbers in five places, we cannot possibly beat them. If they're landing in small numbers in five places, we can beat them one by one. So I suggest we start by beating them in St. Helia, and then we'll find the rest of them and drive them away. My lord, do you know the location of your dragoons? Are they with you? Uh, I have one squadron. Uh, that's pretty much it. But the last location of the other one was... Uh, 10 up of St. Helier, uh, sorry, 12 up of St. Helier, and then right to where it started the game, yes. So uh, I'll try contacting the other squadron. Right now, I only have one with me. We'll need those dragoons to um, at least one of them to keep an eye on our far flank that is right to the right of the map to make sure we are not surprised as we march into St. Helier. Okay, you can hear, sorry for uh, interrupting, you can hear some skirmishing noises from the south, probably east of St. Helia. South or east? East of St. Helia. So there's to your south, but east of the town. Squadron to scout the area there, but I can order them to engage. Well, they probably found as well themselves know. engaged. Because yeah, I don't have any, there are no regular units in that vicinity. Gentlemen, if we're, uh, uh, Jen, how far away is Colonel Dumarest? Is that his unit I can see on my map to the north? To the north, let me double check. North my picture, I've got the very beginning of a unit near the supply. Mm-hmm. At the beginning of Dumaresk's column. That is certainly one of his companies. If it is the the beginning or the head of his column, I cannot say. Army is all concentrated and ready to attack. Uh, so my orders to my regimental commanders, which are which are the colonels and his lordship, is we're going to form up. Take a turn to straighten our lines, prepare ourselves, and the next 15 minute turn, we will begin the advance on St. Helia. By that time, we should have Colonel Dumaresk up. 
put him in our support. Does everyone agree with that plan? Yes. Yes. Excellent. So the regulars will form in the middle, Le Sir on the right, Lordship on the left. We'll advance in one line with Dumaresk in support. Uh, you want me on the left? Left of our line, which is the right of the map, your Lordship. Oh, okay. It's always awkward looking at upside down map when we're facing down. <laughs> Alright. Right. Yeah, I'll have Somebody all the units form up on my side of the line. Perfect. Uh, yeah, same one, just one circle. I'll form on the, uh, on our left side. We go and we will assault the town. We'll spend 15 minutes doing that. Thanks, Jan. Sure. Thank you for your orders. And if, we, if, if we, someone can ride and find Colonel Dumaresk, if that is his column, or he's coming down, or someone's coming down, mm -hmm. bring him to our location here. That would be ideal. All right. Okay, Colonel Dumaresk, um, you are moving. Let me see. Yes, your scouts report that there is a major concentration of British and militia forces to your southeast. <clears throat> that is, is there a town's name or anything? No, I don't think so. To the southeast at least. Do you want to continue marching in that direction? March to the rendezvous. Perfect. Yep, got that. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay so it's uh, slowing down a little bit now because we're running basically eight players with uh, with two umpires so that uh, takes a little while to get things moving uh i guess they form up but we will see we will wait for my assistant umpire. <clears throat> uh, I'm very sorry about that. Did you have any orders for oh, 200? Okay, so your men are continuing to land on the beach. They leave the prisoners behind. Um, you get word that Bonchance has taken possession of Fort Regent. And you don't hear any combat noise whatsoever. So you said la uh, at uh, 1.45 that there are French line infantry in front of us. That is correct. General Monse. Okay. Bon chance, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. That means I will update your screenshot. Uh, basically, like this. So that is your actual 215, and I will co locate you with. Bonchance. 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 Um, yeah. So, okay. Yeah, they used to be. Do you want to 
this, or uh, should I assume it's a co-located message? Uh, you are co-located. Uh, did you receive a 215 report already? No, I got a screenshot, but I'm not where I should be. Uh, yeah, that has fair reasons for that. <laughs> Um, because Ponsi ran apparently ran into enemy cavalry and had some skirmish, so he his forces couldn't get out of the way to for you to take their place. Uh, and yes, I can. I thought I was going to be that person. Right, so that's fine. So when he's out of the way, then we're trying to take positions in the buildings. Yes. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. And then specifically ordered to clear the main road so they can move any closer. All right. Uh, probably five squares, I would say. Okay. And can we see anything out that way with the enemy retreating? Nope, it's still dark. Okay. So we'll Just sit here until Colonel Pierre shows up. Or, or I'm another. here, I'm here. I'm sure. I, know, I, 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 can, I can see you. I didn't and get to give orders last turn because my umpire left, but I ha I'm actually right next to you with me and my troops. Wonderful. Uh, okay, well, until you are here, which you are here, and the other lieutenant shows up, I'm perfectly happy with what we do. I don't have to worry about this. What did you... What did you tell me about the cavalry? Yeah? What did that do? And when we have that cavalry, what does that do? Yeah? Mm-hmm. The cavalry? What is it? What happened? Where did it come from? Where did it go? Um... I don't think you know already. <clears throat> just so it, there was some... It, you hear the noise of skirmish and cavalry, and that's it. Okay, so it happened 50 paces away, but I guess there was a house in between me and it. Um, okay, can we shrink my command token a bit? Yeah, yeah. I'm currently, I'm yeah. currently blotting out the two <laughs> All right, no problem. And the Pierre has shown up on my left. Yep, I'm right on your left. Okay. okay. So, right, can I Pierre, the, do you want to move here? your units into the town, or...? Uh, what do you want me to do? Push up and skirmish with the enemy in front of us? I, I don't know where the enemy's gone. I can't see them anywhere. But, well, you um, suppose that they are north. I Could I suppose I, scout them out? I have lights. Well, let's say, put, occupy, put most of your troops into the town to my left. Like, occupy that part of the San Helier and send some scouts forward through the woods to try and find where they are, if they're still here, if, if they've left. Oh, understood. I will have my men defending the western section of the town, and I will send pickets out to the north and northwest, uh, scouting Excellent. ahead. Mm -hmm. Our general intention at the moment is to turn this valley north of Fort Regent into a fire basket. So if they attack us before we're all concentrated here, then we should be in a good position to hurt them badly. And if they don't attack us before then, then at least be concentrated so we can move out together if we decide to, to do that. All right. Um, any other questions for either of us, Jan? You know what mm -hmm. I'm trying to do, and I'll do that when I can. All right, in that case, I will speak. Colonel Pierre, I hear good news from Colonel de Muncy about your operations in the west of the bay. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that will you. Why is this not still loading? I will turn off my stream if that's fucking with you. Yeah. <laughs> I think it is. 1080p. So um, I have taken care of Bonchance and Pierre already. Uh, have you moved Dizé? Hello? Guess I lost my last remaining uh, umpire. Let's check. I'm here, I'm here, but oh, here. I my ball's been too early. But I'll say. Um, I mean, we are basically at the the final stage. And Did you move yeah. uh, Pierre already? Uh, sorry, Desire? Uh, yeah, he was the first I 
Okay. Made. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I guess um, as we are running out of, of uh, umpires and you also have to go, we will just uh, call the game and I will then, I guess by myself, sort of resolve the final battle of the... I, I can stay for another 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Okay, yeah. All right, but anyways, we, we will... We will have the teams, I mean, let's say this uh, has fortunate wins, so he's landing now. Um, we will have the teams send out one last screenshot to the teams and then have them all join together to prepare a final battle plan. And then, okay. Then we resolve. Well Mossy wanted the uh, artillery to be turned onto that direction, but I don't know if that's possible. No, that's not possible here. No. Yeah, I figured that. What time is it? Two thirty. Yep. That's one. No, no, most three. Gentlemen, you are all united Gathering. now, and your forces are getting into battle formation. Excellent. Okay. The dragoons uh, report back that they accidentally in the dark ran into some skirmishing infantry exchanged uh, some shots and then retired so they are on your left flank basically now huh? um, they engaged the enemy on that little hill which is sort of east of fort regent if you see that i see uh, how many squares from From the town? Uh, yeah, from St. Hayé. Uh, that was two squares, basically, from the center of the town. And they are right. now I mean, in the middle of that position, and you. I see. Excellent. Uh, so, Jim Resk, if you can hear us, that'd be nice if you could say something. If you can't, we understand. Um, my orders are that at 0230 we're going to advance and you, Dumaresk, will form the reserve. So bring your units down into this location and as they're required, I will send them forward. I will call for them to come forward and, and trust you to exploit any breach. Gentlemen, we will advance in silence. No drums, no fifes. Let us sneak up on these French dogs and kick them back to the mainland. God save the king. There you go. <laughs> Have your orders, gentlemen. I will see you in the governor's mansion for breakfast. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. We will, we will fix the regulars. Will fix bayonets, and I will stand with them, uh, Jeanne, and I will will lead the way with the my two trusty regiments on my left and right. Dumaresk forming up as a reserve. Uh, Require any further orders than that, sir? Uh, I'd like to send. A rider to my other uh, dragoon squadron up north uh, mm -hmm. to rendezvous here with us. Or... That's pretty much it. Yep, perfect. Dear not able to speak, Jan. Do you know no, that, or is he just on mic. text only? He doesn't have a mic. Okay, he's on text only. Um, can we get a report from him of how many units he has with him and where they all are from? Has he gathered them all? Or is this just? Uh, let me see. Is there some way of getting that information? Or you can share that on his behalf. Yeah, I, I can share that. So he basically got everything he has concentrated here. Excellent. Very good news. 
Chapman. God for Harry, England, and St. George. The guns. I don't know how, how to order a, a, a whole uh, aid to attack, Jan. So whatever I have to say, let's do it. Yep. We're going to do that. Perfect. Thank you very much. Vats. Emma for Vats. <laughs> <clears throat> hmm. This will be who oh, just joined? That's me. Ah, the you now um give your final decision for the last combat. Yes, your scouts have uh detected the main bunch of the British forces just north of Saint Helier. Okay. Um is that good enough target information that we can shoot? Um, yeah, I guess. I mean, there are somewhat open fields. I mean, if they come down those hills there, should probably hit something. Yeah. Um, I was just getting the report from say, but um, if we're just giving them orders briefly, then... Yeah, artillery up and around. I mean, I... I no, if, if they, I'm not going to waste our ammunition shooting into the darkness. If they can see any lights to shoot for them, the big guns to shoot at, they can do so. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we'll bring Desai up into reserve behind um, behind Pierre. So we can commit him through there or around the left if we need to. But um, what's time with 0230? So the water's coming in. Get him on that flat ground um, around Black Rock. Yeah, yep. And we'll, as the water comes in to allow our naval artillery there, we'll sail it into the bay. So if they are there, and if they do attack us, we can shoot the hell out of them with artillery from three sides. I was just explaining to Colonel Pierre that I didn't see any reason to go hunting around the island because we controlled their only port, and we'd probably lose if we start hunting around the island, whereas I think we've won a victory here. We control the port. We control the way in and out of the island. We control the only way to get city for men in the island. If they want to change that or take back the island's capital, they have to come to us. All right. I'd love to hear more from Colonel Desai if you don't need... If we're all here, are we... About to go to a room, or do you want me to, or can I talk to Desai, or what are we doing? Uh, you can talk now if you want. Uh, yeah. General, during the capturing Montor Jail Castle, there have been captured some prisoners, which I um, released at World of Honor. World of Honor did not pick up arms and fight against the France. Um, and our Emperor of Apollon. Um, the battery also, the castle and battery was destroyed. I didn't took um, any casualties, especially when I noticed the 4th Battalion of 40th Regiment for their bravery in the capture of Montor Trail Castle. Magnificent. So, I mean, we'll, we'll, take, we'll definitely take recommendations from all Colonel medals, and I will be recommending each of you for a lead. There are also mm, almost no casualties in my command. Fantastic. Well, then we are at full strength, we are concentrated, and we are ready. If, if we see an enemy worth engaging, let's go win this island. 
a flawless work, gentlemen. Um, thank you very much. You've done admirably, and I am delighted with your conduct today. And now the ball goes back to the arm to see what, what you want us to do. Just some uh, small preparations and then we should be good to go. <clears throat> So, uh, everybody, please join the umpire's voice chat. Okay. All right, have do we have everybody here? Yes, I think we have. Okay, so if you folks want to join the umpire table, I'm gonna post uh, the invite link into the general chat. Oh, I can literally see it. I happen to have Kriegspiel sorted. <laughs> there it uh, goes. What's, what's Otherwise, the I will stream the table, of course. What's the server password, yeah? Uh, IKS or lowercase. I was just coming out of my table and I happened to have Kriegspiel as my automatic search. <laughs> Are you oh, going to stream it, Chan? Is that what you saying? Yes, I'm currently okay. streaming in the on Discord. If you want to join that, or if you want to join the tabletop simulator, that's also fine. Give you a few minutes to adjust that. Very interesting um, scenario so far went completely different to the first um, iteration of it, which was good to see. We we'll get to that in a in a second. I see we all found each other groping in the dark. Yeah, apparently uh, almost all the forces are now concentrated in one spot. So we thought with all my assistant umpires melting away, but one, um, we we just rolled for a final battle here. But I assume the French are in very good positions to defend St. Helier right now, especially as uh, the British, who have set the, the mass of the troops into movement, um, are suffering some sort of disorganization trying to hold their formation in the night through rugged terrain, uh, hedgerows and all that stuff. So we will basically have you all advance, getting into positions. Just bring my, the, these batteries up. Uh, yep. Where you would eventually run into the enemy and get detected. And then we have the reserves and we have this force moving up here slowly so lots of smoke to be placed here 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 oops So here we go, and then we need artillery die, or basically every kind of die. <clears throat> so we've 
over here we have artillery up here two batteries we have artillery here artillery here these are probably not able to support these might be and then we have a bunch of infantry one, one. One, two, three here, one, two, three there, two here. Oh, I, I like the dogs that Lord Cartwright has on his pieces. <laughs> yeah, that was the first time I ran that, uh, Cartwright was Marshall, and, you know, Marshall likes dogs. And... Naturally. So I think that should be all the forces actually able to contribute. So, first of all, we will fire the heavy guns. That's a big nothing and a route at close range. So, no, that is probably close range here for these guys. So, they will. It's plunging fire, so that works. Skedoodle away. Why can't I? Ah, because I have. Uh, hit the, yes, thank you. They are going and running, which will disrupt. Whoops. Not, they just up. not spawn new units, but disrupt these folks. It's not effective, not effective, not effective. Did you roll them all? No. Yep, I believe, I believe so. What, they they all rolled blank? No, 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 no. Don't no, I don't, no. They, I don't think they rolled, they got exactly the same orientation. Yeah, yeah, they didn't roll. So now let's continue with these. The artillery... The two two units, units medium to close. Medium to close. That is the case. So Both routed. Yep. So they go out as well. Then we have the infantry all experience advantaged, uh, even if advantaged. That is so. That is a hit here. Why keep I? It's infantry there. Copper <laughs> infantry. Nothing against the dragoons. Uh, that's that. Then the dragoons hit back. Charging in. It's heavy calf only. Yeah, heavy calf. The oops, the British dragoons are certainly only hit. hit. One hit or yeah, one hit. Experience. Yeah, that is a disruption on these. An extra battalion, a squadron of dragoons <laughs> from space would definitely be disrupting. All right, so then the light infantry here, first the lines. They run low. Hit two units, all ranges. And hit. So they are already routing away. These guys are also routed. That's a big chaos here. Out of close. I hit. Fired. That's close, I'd say. Even if the enemy is advantage, so the oh, the British are really taken, taken it here today. We were lucky enough to be able to take position in the houses before that we had to fight them. Yep. One of my leisure just disappeared. That's one, two, these will schedule. Disrupting the reserve company, which can come up. So then these guys come back, of course. Uh, apply it's... only in bad terrain. Apply only in bad terrain. That's not the case for the French. They are in good terrain. Route. Okay, then we got the forces in the center. And they do uh, hit. Hit ammo low. And bad terrain. Is that bad terrain? No, because they are lights.
Yeah, shockingly, the British militia forces have been driven back in disarray. So the French managed to hold their positions, but the British still have the the reserve to to throw in. So I don't know, I, but I guess at the this point with, with everybody or the main bulk of their forces uh, scattering there, they will probably just try to to hold on the hills and reorganize their troops. I mean, the Jersey militia have never really been English. They should just rejoin their French brothers. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. I mean, uh, and, and that's also been mentioned in the flavor text. There have been some significant quarrels between the islanders and the British authorities. So there is that. Well, let's let's go uh, over the game, how the game uh, developed, and um, maybe we change things up a little bit. Um. Maybe we start this time with the British because they were sort of left in the dark about what was going to happen. And we have um, Sir George first uh, tell us about his experience, what was going on today and uh, how the battle went. Sir George, are you there? Oops. Um. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, start assembling as soon as the gunfire went off and I uh, held the town as long as I could against repeated attacks from the Grenadiers. And then when it became obvious we were going to lose the town, I retreated to the north where we assembled all our troops and everybody got there and yes, we all walked south and were destroyed. Um, so. <laughs> So we, we weren't expecting the French, obviously, to be completely concentrated in St. Helier. Uh, I will say, if you, if you come things half, happening half an hour places. earlier, half an hour earlier, we weren't. Half an hour earlier, there were only half of us here. Yeah. Well, half an hour earlier, there were only half of us on the hill. <laughs> so <laughs> I was saying... I was saying, I was saying to my to my generals or my colonels, I was saying maybe we should wait for dawn and see what's actually mm -hmm. going to happen, which mm -hmm. would have probably been the wise thing to do. Would have yeah. been to to hold our position on the hill, wait for dawn, see count the opposing numbers, and wait for reinforcements from London. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the British. Yeah. Well, uh, well, the we Royal we, we certainly was uh, a threat to this operation. So once they come up and blockade the harbors, that could be in your favor. We haven't lost the island. We've still got a sizable bit of our army, and yes, the Royal Navy will arrive in time. Yep, hopefully so. Uh, yes. Okay. And uh, the what king. did you what did you think about the the overall situation, the communication with your fellow commanders? How did your secret goal work out? Um. Well, not at all. <laughs> I want to know what happened to the rest of my regulars. Where are the rest of the regulars? So uh, some got over there actually, the and uh, some are on their way still. I only had one, the one regiment that was in the city originally, and then another one that's arrived since. There's uh, also one in the east. <clears throat> okay. Yes, my secret my secret goal was simply to make sure that the French, well, no, that, that that the Lord Carterite followed my orders, mm -hmm. um, and he resisted occasionally, and we had some back and forth here and there. But I did insist that he follow my orders. He did follow my orders. The regulars did take the lead in the attack, um, and we've all been destroyed. So it's not my fault. <laughs> um, no, but I I take full responsibility for what has happened here, and uh, yes, well done, well done to those who marched to the sound of the guns. Perfect. And yes, well done to my courier riders who no doubt were sick of riding backwards and forwards every 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Somewhat. <laughs> they were. Okay, so then let's hear from the French general, Bonchance. What was your plan? How did it work out? And what was your personal goal? Firstly, I'll say that while our plan was elaborate, it completely, it worked in spite of itself rather than because of itself. Um, one of one of the my personal goal was to try and make minimize our loss, make sure the majority of our forces survived, keep our troops alive for future operations, and I think we achieved that. I'm seeing a bit of chaos here on the right, but by and large, our forces are intact and didn't lose too badly in our infant operations. 
we were attempting to use the night and the low tide to um, sow some confusion and divide your forces. So the first force you're meant to hear from was Colonel Desay landing over here, and he seized. He was ordered to, and I get from his report, I guess succeeded to seize these two forts and then blow their powder and then extract by sea and sail around to join us at St. Helia. Yep. Then Colonel Pierre was landing, and he showed up in, I think, the last update before this. Colonel Pierre was ordered to land here in the west and secure St. Auburn and Fort St. Auburn at low tide, so when we could charge across the sand. And we weren't going to try and hold that separately, so just fire the boats, fire the ships while they're aground, blow the powder stores at St. Auburn, and then move to consolidate with us. Then Colonel de Montsey was ordered to land here in the centre of St. Helias Bay to try and take Elizabeth Castle from the west, ideally without being alerted. So we were hoping that you'd have forces going to investigate these explosions in the east, which I don't see that that happened. Um, Meanwhile, I and my grandeurs were landing here at Havre de Pas, and we were assaulting, trying to assault in force, instead of being assaulted in a single file, up into the Fort Regent to secure that and ideally control these two ships from the heights and dominate the town with artillery until everyone could move to rescue us. So it sort of seemed to work in spite of ourselves. It all We all got ashore, we all achieved things. The both support commanders did amazingly. But as I commented to Jan a couple of times, it was very interesting being, like I've, I've issued all these orders. I'm in charge of the army. I now have no means to contact or communicate with anybody and until everyone shows up in the St. Helier eventually. Yep. But I think it worked very well. I had my men trying to capture the lieutenant governor on the north side of the fort. I gather he jumped the wall and escaped, but we were able to storm the area and drag the sea, the heavy sea artillery up to the north side of the fort in case we got attacked before dawn. Our plan with dawn was we had prize crews in these two ships here, and we had our own warships that were going to be floating at high tide from 0500 around here, so that if we did get attacked at dawn, we could add their naval artillery to the mix. Thank yeah, you. unfortunately, um, the ships got detected initially by Elizabeth Castle, which opened fire and caused some disruption and losses. Uh, it eventually destroyed the Renard, I believe. Um, because the fleet was for quite some time sort of a sitting duck there on the on the beach. Um, and that, that, drew, that drew attention here rather yeah. than over to our decoy. Yep. Exactly. All right. But yeah, our secret objective was to minimize our casualties, and I think we meant the majority of the Air Forces survived, which was my goal. Yeah, that is true. Actually, I, I rolled for ships uh, lost in the landing, so one got stuck here on the rocks, and the others, most of the others were simply delayed because they lost contact to the convoy um, by changing winds and all that stuff, but none of the ships was actually lost during the landing operations, which was in favor of the French, of course. So we lost one ship to the enemy artillery, and we gained two, so we ended with more ships than we started with. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay, then let's go through all the other players uh, from top to bottom. That would be Colonel Pierre. Yes. Um, as uh, my general has already said, I was to seize the western edge of our advance at St. Aubin and Fort St. Aubin, which I have done, which is very good since it also coincided with my personal objective, which was to win the approval of the emperor by pulling off some magnificent feat. Initially, I was bid to take Elizabeth Castle, but then I asked Jan whether Fort St. Aubin and, or, and St. Aubin itself would prove sufficient to complete the mission, and he said yes. So I suppose that is my personal objective completed. After that, I uh, embarked again and uh, returned to the middle just in time to see the enemy off. Yeah, it probably took you longer to get back on the ships and sail over than just simply walk uh, the same distance, but... Uh... Well, had, had you done so, you would have run into Sirius' uh, column, I believe. 
this I, point. I had assumed that Fort Elizabeth and uh, the other fort were still in enemy hands, so I wanted to get in between them to be able to flank them from both sides. Mm -hmm. I later learned that they were both captured. So, because I wanted to also take Fort Elizabeth to win even more glory, but I suppose that was already done by then. Yeah, you've been awarded the Legion d'Honneur. Yes. Well done. Okay, uh, who's next? Monsi. Yes, of course. Uh, as said, I was told to land in the center of St. Helier's Bay. As soon as I left my schooner, it apparently got set on fire by batteries, I believe, from St. Aubin, uh, before they were able to be taken out, which was unfortunate, but we all got off the ship staggered. So every 30 minutes or so, a battalion would land. And so I basically assaulted uh, Elizabeth Castle one at a time, uh, which was an interesting thing, but they surrendered. And we captured it anyways, and took minimal amounts of losses for the captured game. Mm -hmm. We then moved northeast through the town and set up position on this hill over here, where we were supposed to hold the right flank. As you can see, did not work out too well, but I believe we still held as valiantly as we possibly could. Uh, my personal objective was to be able to cover the retreat of my less experienced fellow commanders, as apparently I was the most experienced with the best troops. And so my personal objective was to uh, basically, if they fucked up, I would fix it. Which, as you can see, did not turn out too well. However, I will uh, notice that apparently this unit of my uh, battalion here did cover the retreat of Pierre's one little battalion, so I will take that as a uh, not complete failure. <laughs> Wait, you, go, you, yeah. you also you also guarded our flank. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For now. Yeah. Okay. Also, one question though. Yeah. Uh, as soon as I uh, my regular umpire uh, left and I got Suchet instead, I heard something about a dragoon attack that I had repulsed, mm -hmm. and I had no idea what he was talking about because we had never seen anything. Mm -hmm. I didn't see anything at that point, and it was just like. Yeah, that was the moment you were moving out of town. Mm -hmm. um, some scouting light dragoons basically ran into the head of your column and there was a small skirmish and they fell back. Gotcha. Like the way you said it was like, oh, you're called the dragoons. Like I was supposed yeah, to know. The dragoons. Yeah. Right. I heard the same thing. thing and I was like, well, that, that was 40 paces away. What do you mean <laughs> I, don't, I didn't see them? What, what yeah, tree? right. <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah, we had to, unfortunately, uh, most of the assistant umpires had to leave uh, during the game, so we had to make the best of it. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, so next would be Desert. Sorry for most of your game, I believe, was sitting around on ships or on the beach. Um, it was really interesting. I speak, spoke with Sia Ghouls and searching for mermaids. Uh, <laughs> as a colonel, I got uh, got her to um, capture and destroy the power restores of Mont Orgil Castle and the battery 165 above uh, the hill Lacrid. Uh, I have three battalions under my command, and uh, because of a dark and the wind, uh, it appears that I had only one battalion with me on Mont Blanc. It was for battalion for the regiment. It appears that we landed and immediately uh, stormed the Mont Orgil castle. Uh, there, the garrison surrendered with, without big resistance. Uh, and well, later finds out that there is no enemy on the battery, so I complete my orders. From general on chance, destroy that, land it on the ships, and go to the main force. <clears throat> I want to notice that uh, it can, it's, it's perfectly pins with my personal goals because I'm uh, a general with a cavalry in my heart, and I li like this dashing raid, which completes in the capturing of a there is Nova Force. I believe it was two companies of uh, four battalion 67 uh, regiment. Uh, 
I thought about uh, bringing them as a trophies and the cannons, but it appears after the discussion with my captains on the ships that we don't have a space for them, so I release them on the board of honor and leave the cannons on the battery, just destroying it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I join to the main actions. Yeah, it took you after the report. Took yeah. you quite a while because of the the wind was blowing northward, so your ships had to to cross the wind mm. several times to get a, around the island. Yeah, it was a hard trip, I guess. <laughs> <clears throat> Sailing's <laughs> <mean. laughs> It's perfectly. Also, I found my battalion. Took my battalions on the shore and or uh, on a shore on near Montmartre Castle. Later, when we sailed those main forces on the battle, I like to hear that by volley fire we routed one British battalion. Uh, I pretty uh, happy to hear that. It's I think perfectly applied to my personal goal uh, of being of a cavalry dashing cavalry commander. Mm-hmm. Well, that's all of my impressions. So uh, right. thanks to the umpires, thanks to the general sure. Banchance for that opportunity. All right, thank you very much. So next up is Colonel Le Sueur. Yeah, so uh this was this was my first game and it was interesting. I had I was spread out over what I was told in the briefing and I guess it was true where like very important positions because I was I had men at St. Hellier here and then I had a force up here in the center one back here and I had just one company guarding uh, this bay and my secret objective was it was basically to if there was a landing to beg for reinforcements I think from uh, from the governor or uh, the bailey and that didn't i didn't uh do that i tried to i was really worried because of the briefing that there would be a big landing at Mm -hmm. berlade i was i was really scared that it was going to be a huge french army and and just my one company and so i originally sent because my biggest force was in the north west and so i sent them straight down so that no matter what happened, they could go either way to meet the enemy. And then I myself was in the center, and I came down to the beach, because as as soon as I heard guns, I came down to the beach, because all I knew was it was south. And I saw... Uh, I heard fighting from both ways. I heard it, like, I heard the screaming from the city that was burned, and uh, I heard fighting at St. Helier, and the general told me to meet up with him. So not hearing any, not having any reason to think there was an attack at Berlade, I ordered both of my troops. Well, I waited here and ordered the bulk of my forces to meet up with me. And then I marched down to relieve the city. While I was doing that, because I had still heard nothing about uh, Berlade's bay, I had these troops go to look at uh go to the hill to look down at uh what is this Aubin uh, and it was burned and so I told them to meet up with me uh but they never made it they're over here with the regulars no. on their way um and the bulk of my I I was happy to have the like bulk of my army together to help the general in his in what was a horrible situation cuz he every message he sent me got worse and worse uh but I got there just as he retreated, and then I went to reinforce him, and then, uh, and then you know the rest. <laughs> so I guess I was the one reinforcing yeah. Saint Helier, whereas I wanted people to reinforce me. So I, <laughs> unfortunate. If it if it would have been better for my secret objective, if Berlades Bay had been the target, because then it would have been then people would have had to reinforce me, yeah. but it didn't exactly. turn out that way. Yeah, there was nothing you could do about it, right? Yeah, it was it was rough. <laughs> okay, mm, who is next? I think Lord Carteret. Uh, yes, hello. Uh, 
Am I? Okay. So, uh, uh, yeah. First of all, though, <laughs> it's really funny, but uh, like I had well one main secret objective and another condition. Uh, well, my secret objective was that yeah to undermine the uh, lieutenant general. Uh, you know there were some uh, slight uh, well I wouldn't say arguments but uh, let's just say there's some instances that we didn't agree on things but ultimately the goal was to defend the island so I uh, reluctantly had and uh, followed the lieutenant general's uh, plans to uh, meet up uh, right here. So the bulk of my, my forces were at the east. Uh, I did take a while, some time uh, uh, off time at Groveville, uh, which I was just sitting there for a couple of hours before I uh, marched towards uh, our location here. Uh, and the other condition, uh, not really an objective, the other condition was, <laughs> yeah, I, I was... Uh, <clears throat> I was supposed to write my dispatches and orders in French. <laughs> so, so every time uh, I sent a dispatch to anyone, it's in French and they still, they have to translate. Yeah, I think all of my dispatches were written in French. So I yeah, I guess I accomplished that part. And about the main objective, which is yeah, to undermine the Lieutenant General, to some extent I did uh by staying put at the east for a while but yeah ultimately the goal to defend the island so uh i had to obey his I'm commands right. essentially mm -hmm. that's it all right i think uh the other players left so frank do you know wanna... yeah do you want to say anything about the, how the battle went from your perspective as an umpire well, not much, basically. Marching simulator and sailing simulator. Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, somewhat the nature of this uh, scenario, especially if the French decide to attack during the night, um, given the, I mean, the terrain and uh, the dangers of landing operations at night. And uh, I think it was even in the briefing that there are, are basically no major roads on the island because the island is actually at gunpoint resisted the governor to not build them and they also resisted um the the declaration of of um, martial law and all that stuff so there was really a power struggle between the the islanders and the bailey and the governor and the regular british authorities on the island and then of course there were lots of delays um mobilizing the troops and then moving through through the night um but eventually we had our final battle here which i think didn't i mean it's uh, it's reasonable that uh, the outcome is is this way could have gone gone the other way of course but most of the the battles we know or combats of this scale of the napoleonic wars are quick and dirty so to say um so it's not unreasonable for the center especially as they are militia forces even if um well drilled and i guess also the the regulars here are garrison forces so they are part of the regular british army but they as they are um, positioned here they are foreigners so not actually british citizens but uh, soldiers from all over the world so there's another problem with with organizing them uh, their officers are co of course british but yeah language barrier might be a problem there as well so that was uh very interesting to see the approach. Um, I feared a little bit for the initial orders of the, the main push going into St. Helier Bay, um, but apparently the French got lucky and got their men ashore before being blasted away by uh, Elizabeth Castle and Fort St. Auburn. So that was very interesting. I'd like to, to know from you what you thought of the scenario overall and um, did the secret objectives add anything to your experience or not? 
I thought it was a very interesting scenario, and I really like the module. I heard that you had a Jersey scenario, and I consciously avoided digging too deeply into it because I really want to play it sometime. Um, yeah, I, I thank you. I also want to say thank you very much for running this because I think it's wonderful that we're starting to see some of these creatures happening at non US standard times. It's going a long way towards helping Europe, European, Asian, Oceanic yeah. time zone people get involved. But I thought, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, well done. It was, it was good having because this was my first game, and I thought it was a cool scenario, and it was good that because I'm in Japan right now, so I mm -hmm. didn't think it would be easy for me to be able to participate. But as soon as I joined, there was one coming up, so that was cool. Yeah, glad you liked it, um, even though it was somewhat special and unusual scenario, I would say, compared to those we usually run. Okay, cool. I guess also with mine being to try and keep my cash fees low, I'm launching a amphibious assault on an island with unknown <laughs> numbers of defenders, and I'm trying to keep my cash fees down because I'm not quite sure if the emperor's approved this attack at all. Um, and so that was it made it interesting when I was trying to decide how I was going to attack and was trying to go with speed and audacity and ideally separating half the. Um, or uh, hopefully separating a large number of the defenders off towards a flanking attack that wasn't coming. Mm -hmm. But it, it made me th think a lot more about what the possible consequences mm -hmm. could be of any of my attacks. I feel like, uh, I don't know about the other people whose secret objectives didn't really manifest in any way, but it still felt significant. Like mine didn't get any go anywhere, but it... It still it because right at the beginning I I had horrible like like deadlock like I was like oh no I don't know where to go <laughs> because I wanted to fulfill my secret objective but in the end I went to help the uh, general and also um, uh, Carteret's uh, secret objective had a lot of impact in what I was doing because he was trying to subvert the general through me by by he sent a <laughs> message to me about uh like screw the British, we're the, it's, we defend Jersey and, and like stuff like that. And, uh, it was, it was hard for oh, me to send you any messages. Well, yeah, I, yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> you lied to my face, Colonel. You lied to my face. I did. But in the end I followed you <laughs> and it was definitely out of respect. <laughs> I, and it I wasn't because you were the first guy I ran into. <laughs> you, you did well, Colonel. You did well. In in the end, I just I ran into the general, and I was like, "I all right, I'm. I guess this is my lot." Lord Carteret started writing to me in French, and I thought, "Well, I better write back to him in French." <laughs> so I yes, I sent all my messages in English and French just to show a bit of courtesy <laughs> and respect. And I think that must have eventually talked him into thinking that I was on his side. So um, a bit of fun. I realized when I read the first message that I speak more French than I thought I did. So before I'd put it into Google Translate, I kind of knew what he was saying. Oh, there you go. Excellent. Great. For me, it was the first game. Like I'm astounded. I'm astounded that the force that landed on the east of the island was able to blow up that fort, get back on their boat, sail all the way around, and get back to St. Helier before all of our forces managed to reach the place. And Yeah, just barely. Just just barely. Yeah. He just dropped into our co-location channel in the update right before the end. Yep. Right. So you were saying... So it's all Lord Cartier's fault. If he'd come straight to St. Helier when he was ordered, we could have attacked <laughs> half an hour earlier and it all would have been over. Yeah. Uh, Desert, you wanted to say something. Yeah, for me, it was the first game. Quick spill. I'm reading the manuals. I'm trying to understand how I should behave and how I should command and which orders but umpires helped me a lot in the beginning of uh to sort it out or should it end. and unpredictable events like hello you have only one third of your original force because two thirds gets lost during the night during the night landing and like well i have one but i need to complete the objective <laughs> uh <laughs> yeah accidentally oh, yeah, the surprise uh, attack worked out mm it's work out mm, i'm really glad to see that you have european events because like i'm from russia and this uh really beautiful timing for me 
Uh, yeah, we really should meant, do these more well, often. Definitely. And I mean, you, in terms of the normal time zone, usually, or the normal slot, I can only do that for half the year, otherwise it's just impossible for me. But yeah. this time slot I, I can probably do, so it means I can actually help and run events and play events for the other half of the year. I also want to call it to say, especially, he mentioned at the very last minute before we were about to start, after I already put the plan in, that this was his first game, which raised some nerves me for how widely separated his mission was. And then I just sort of went, well, I have faith in you. Good luck. Godspeed. <laughs> and then I was just operating in a vacuum until I just heard an explosion from the northeast and went, well, something's going well. Yep. So well done. I feel kind of sad because I didn't draw any attention, I guess, to the top mission. Like, <laughs> nobody followed the check, but yeah. Still far. Well, I sent one company over to check it out. So that's one company that didn't make it to us. I don't think they would have helped much if they had, but. I stayed in Grooveville because I heard the explosion there. So if anything, you prolonged uh, me. Uh, like you pinned me there. I didn't really go towards the uh, northeast or where the explosions at at the castles. But yeah, for quite some time I stayed at Groveville, fearing that the landing will appear there. So excellent, yeah. flawless. So you won us that extra half hour we needed to get concentrated. Well, that's very really good to know. Thanks, lads. Also, I have a question. Don't you know like to whom belongs that two companies in the castle? Which I captured, like. Other British player? Uh, looks like Redcoats. Uh, yes, but the, uh, that were the regulars. So the regular mm -hmm. um, companies were basically occupying all the defensive on the island and the militia forces were gathered from their homes, basically. Um, mm -hmm. They had they were organized in parishes, so they basically met up at their local churches and pulled the, the guns out of the, of the shed. So these were then forces of um, Sir Don. Yeah, I feel really sorry for to the general that I didn't manage to bring any guns from the battery <laughs> on the ships to the I'm, main landing zone. I'm just reflecting that because we hit four separate forts, we probably cut out down a lot of the redcoats that could have concentrated otherwise. Yep, most likely. Well, great that you you all seem to like the game. That is uh, makes me happy. And um, thank you everybody, everybody for, uh, very much for playing and for the umpires uh, who most are gone by now, but uh, thanks a lot, Frank. That was a blast. Yeah, it was an absolute blast. Thank nice you. And, and it, was, um, it was perfectly timed, as is this. We're just finishing the debrief and 12 minutes is my birthday, so it's a wonderful present from you, Jan. Thank you. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Thank you. All right, then enjoy your day. Thank you. And thank you all very much for running, playing, taking part. All right, everybody on the stream. Uh, I'm very sorry that I missed, um, I missed uh, rising the volume of the other players uh, earlier. That is... Uh, a real shame. Um, next time, please try to ping me in the Twitch chat or whatever to let me know if they are too calm. And hope you enjoyed this one. Very interesting scenario. We will see you on the next adventure. Bye-bye.